<laughs> I got feelings. <laughs> Welcome back to the Black Stars Podcast. We have a special guest on the show. But before we introduce her, it's me. I'm Kelby. Uh, as my barber calls me Hefe. <laughs> People call everybody Hefe. Don't feel special, bro. Nah, nah, shut up. You mean it's not like the only girls fan? Yeah, no, be no, like, no, hey, no. babes. Hey, babe. I thought it was me only, huh? <laughs> hey, boo thing. Oh, man. I'm Hefe. Sure, uh, sure, sure. On the board today, we have Cross. What is what it is? All right. Okay. We have a special person here. Abdu. Izzy's always busy. Straight <laughs> teeth looking like she just got it worked on. <laughs> Izzy. Hey. <laughs> All right, so look, I don't really know who this is, but she was, she was talking to me about some teenage beef, and I was like, yo, sit in the chair. Sit in the chair. Sit in the chair. Yeah, yo, press record. But it's good. It's <laughs> yeah. good tea. Yeah, so uh, we're, we're just uh, here. We're chatting, you know, for the day. We got a lot of things to talk about, so I'm excited that you guys are here with us. Yo, listen, before we get into things, I'm sorry for our several dedicated people that watched the uh, stream on YouTube. It it did upload on Thursday at some point. And then we got deleted. We got a worldwide ban because I played a song. Oops. So it's back up there. I deleted the song. We actually are still banned in like seven countries because there is a like a piece of a song in there. So, you know, if you're a part of that country that can't watch it, well, move to America. Sorry. Quick. Quick trip. Yeah. All right. So how you guys doing? I'm chilling, man. Chilling. Yeah. Good. Good. How are you? Good. Yeah. yeah. First so, time ever being on a podcast. Yeah? Yeah. Sick. I watch them. That's about it. What podcast do you watch? Uh, Well, I guess it's not really a podcast. Uh, was it just More like of a, a shade room? Uh, have you ever heard of Trixie Mattel and Katya, drag queens? Trixie Mattel and Katya? They're drag queens? Yeah. They're drag queens. What is that? I don't mean? know if like, it's not a do? podcast. Actually, it's 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 a YouTube. Did you ask me what does that do? Is that what you said? No, what like what? <laughs> like no. All right. So the first topic. <laughs> no, I was asking you like what is, is it? She says not a podcast. I th- <laughs> I was thinking about what I watch on YouTube, and then I just I blinked. But that's the one I I watch every day. What is it? It's, like what do they do? They just talk, and then and then their their editor animates while they talk. Oh. And it's that's a podcast. Hilarious. Yeah, I think so. Podcast, I think yeah. it I th- yeah. I think it's a podcast. Yo, YouTube be having nothing for me to watch, but every once in a while I get caught up in this thing called old gays. Have you guys ever seen it? Mm-mm. No. You ever seen old gays? Damn, YouTube might think I'm gay. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean I <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, I guess neither do I. <laughs> but I would I'd be watching old gays and they just be playing like new age things for them. It'd be like, hey, look at this TikTok. Oh. And the old guys are like, what is the screen? Oh. And then they'll be like, they're all like sassy. I'm like, back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the black one because he, he always be surprised. Like, they'd be like, well, you know, in the 70s, we was doing this. And he'd be like, not the black ones. I'd be like, well, damn, go ahead and sully up the mood, black gay guy, black old gay. That's my show on YouTube. I don't know if it's a podcast, but was it old old gays? Old gays. Yeah. Okay. Their videos get millions of views. Well, now I'm gonna check it out now. Yeah, old gays. Chris, check that. Old gays. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna juju it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Make sure you step out, <laughs> step out the closet on now. <laughs> 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 All right, so you're good. Um, you were working with Chris today, taking pictures. I was, yeah. So I have seen you before, and I was trying to tell you that before oh, I seen yeah. pictures of you. <laughs> so you're a model. I'm not, I know. She's a model. I am not a model. Come on now. <laughs> I have modeled for Chris and only Chris. <laughs> That's about it. Damn, Chris, what kind of hold you got on her? <laughs> I got no. married. You're a little nasty, man. What <laughs> you different. mean? You saw how she oh, said that, too? She was like, only for Chris. Well, I have to. Yes. I've known Chris. Oh, shoot, how long has it been now? Probably 30 days. Like 30 years. Well, Since what? 2009. 2009. 10 years? 11 years? Jesus. That's not even a long time. It's a long time. I was in college then. Well, we were freshmen in high school. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think you had just uh, got your master's in 2009. Okay, relax. Now, relax. No, no, no. I graduated last year. So you're year. not 29. Uh, is what I I'm am. <laughs> you're 29, give or take 10 years. No, that all on, happened man. when he was 10. <laughs> right. How old do I look? I, t- 45. I told you. You look like you're... Dead ass. 45. Like, if, if, if it had to be, I would say 30 max. Yeah, no, what's the minimum? 
about 17. What's the, I, shut up. I said 20. <laughs> What's the minimum? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 what is it? 29. 28. So the minimum is 29 and the maximum is 30? Yes. Yeah. No, that's it crazy. can't be any more or less than that. Nah, wow. I can play high school. I know you can. But 29 year olds always didn't play high school. <laughs> See? I'm shaving. <laughs> <laughs> Every hair on my body from the nose down is out of here. Okay, twenty-seven. Deported. Twenty-seven. Thirty. Yeah, that's about that's it. it. That's about it. Yeah, I'm twenty-nine. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna leave it at that. I am. Wait, really? Yeah. You made it sound like you were so much older. These. I was these saying people, he's forty-five. Oh my gosh. <laughs> these people, the people like Chris, say I'm the elderly. Oh my. But God. I'm far from an AARP. Yeah, he just got life alert a week ago. <laughs> All right, let, that was the Black Sauce Podcast for this week. I'll catch you guys later. That was a great episode. <laughs> All right, so we got a lot of stuff to talk about. You're here to talk about your teenage beef, but we're going to talk about it later. Oh, okay. All right, so let, let's, see, let's see. Let's see. All right, top of the list. Top of the list. People who got whose, whose sentences got commuted and, and their crimes pardoned by... Dope 45, the man who left, he's out of here. He's not coming back. Well, let me think. On that list is one Dwayne Carter, Lil Wayne. Yeah, I you didn't hear about is? that. Yeah. On Lil Wayne? Mm-hmm. Chris, he probably do. I do. Yeah. Okay, Kodak Black is on the list. To be pardoned? Yes. Took him out of prison. I don't know if Kodak need to come out. I like Kodak's music and all, but I heard he sprayed the side of a building with children. In it. So, you know, he probably should. Did, did they just like arrested? send him letters and be like, "Hey, can hmm? can we be on this list? How did, where did where did he get this list? Like, how did where did the list come from?" Well, I know Kodak tweeted him. So they they were just like DMing him, <laughs> like, "Yo, pardon me." To him. <laughs> he <slid in> the <laughs> <laughs> no, he tweeted him, and he was like, "Yo, I don't want to be here no more." <laughs> yo, hey, yo, hey, DT, this jail so crazy. Yo, yeah, he was like, yo, this jail crazy. They touching me in the showers and stuff. Yo, you got to get me out of here. And Trump was like, on my last day, and he did it. He's a good guy. Mike. Uh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, then we have uh, Kwame Kilpatrick, who's the former mayor of uh, Detroit. We have a uh, um, the the founder of oh man. I'm, now, Kwame was in jail. He was in prison. He was serving like twenty eight years. For what? Yeah. He did. He committed like fraud, wire fraud, all types of stuff, all types of okay white collar crimes, <laughs> rich people crime, rich people crimes. He's a black yeah. guy. He's a black guy. <laughs> you know. So I was like, yeah, hey, I guess this kind of makes up for OJ. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, and uh, unfortunately, I'm so sad to. Uh, have to break this news to you guys. My guy, my brother, Joe Exotic. Oh, no. He was not pardoned. Oh. Why? <laughs> well, he didn't have Twitter. He does have Twitter. Oh, no, he got Twitter. In jail? He probably didn't tweet it early enough. <laughs> but he he's. <laughs> He was the last second. Wait, everybody leaving. Yeah, yeah, he was like, hey, I'll see you outside, Kodak. I'll see you outside, brother. And then he had uh, hair and makeup in the prison coming. I mean, detail him up. He had a limo waiting outside, waiting for him because how he thought you, he was going to get part. How do you get, how does that, how does that happen? How do you get hair and makeup to be sent to you in prison? Well, you just got to pay for it, I guess. Imagine, imagine being real cute in prison. <laughs> They'd be like, no, nah, don't even drop the soap, yo. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> don't, Who don't approves buy. that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> It was like, right here. <laughs> <laughs> right here, just bend on over, buddy. <laughs> Who you looking cute for? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, seriously, you're in prison. I couldn't tell. Also, how do they afford, do they have? Well, Joe Exotic, you know, you saw uh, Tiger King, right? Yeah. Okay, he yeah. got them, he's like. You know, that's what he does. So he still gets paid, but he's just in prison? Well, I don't know if he's getting paid, but he I'm sure he's going to swipe a credit card to make sure that it's grand. Because he's, char- like, he's a character. He wants to be a character. Oh, well, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he was down. He was ready to go. Right. And he thought Trump was going uh, to pardon him or actually commute his, his sentence. And then 
She said, yo, I'm too gay for Trump. Is that what he said? Yeah. <laughs> you don't believe me? No, no, no. I'm I'll read it. Is that what no, he said? No, no, no. Okay, fine. No, I'm going to read it. <laughs> said, I'm too gay for Trump. So it wasn't yeah. because... Trump took Carol Baskin's side. It was just did, he, did he take? He took no, Carol I'm just Baskin's saying. I'm just saying. It, it wasn't. He didn't come to that conclusion. The conclusion uh, he no, came up, he no, came no, up to was he's just too gay. No, no, no. If Trump took Carol's side, we'd have to we have to impeach him three times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, we're not doing that. Let's see. Uh, Joe Exotic on Trump. I'm gonna read it to you. You don't believe me? He said I'm way too gay. That was a good <laughs> okay, he said quote. <laughs> I'm too innocent and too gay. That was it. <laughs> that was a <the> whole tweet. <laughs> no, no, no. So you have said, to be straight I say and gay. an actual no, criminal said gay in order to get put it in capital. <laughs> no, he put it in capital. So these are the actual tweet. He said, I was too innocent and too G-A-Y to deserve a pardon from Trump. <laughs> I only mattered to Don Jr. when he needed to make a comment about me to boost his social media post. Boy, were we all stupid to believe he actually stood for equal justice. His corrupt friends all come first. As funny as that was the tipping point that, that Joe Exotic <laughs> said, now I don't Nah, yeah, me. nah. This is it. <laughs> but Don Jr., you're a good guy, yo. I boosted your Twitter up for a couple days. <laughs> <laughs> Good guy, DJ. <laughs> yeah, Aww. so you know what a bummer for Joe. Shout out, Joe, man. <laughs> I see you in prison, living it up. Can they send him a tiger? Nah, I think he's in prison for shooting tigers. <laughs> but I know. I'm just saying, like, if he can get makeup <laughs> to come over, maybe. To make I mean, he could send him a stuffed animal or something like that, but. <laughs> I think he's the one getting stuff right now. <laughs> yeah. But uh, saying that Don Jr. is the one that <laughs> he's cool. Now, I'm cool with Don. But Donald, mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't know about 45. No. I don't know about that one. That's insane. No. I this guy makes great content. Donald? No. Well, he did. But uh, he did Joe. Quite a bit of content. Joe. Joe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Joe exactly. He's yeah. kind of. Because the Donald Donald can't make any more content anymore because he's banned oh, yeah. from everywhere. <laughs> Yo, you know what? I'm gonna miss it a little bit. He used to write the craziest, funniest stuff. Yeah. The one I can't forget if he was like, California's going to hell. <laughs> 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 he said so like California's going to hell. Uh, y'all need me to come fix it. I was like, well damn, we kind of are going to hell right now. Mm-hmm. Real estate trash, job market trash, money's trash, yeah. governor's trash, everything's trash. <sighs> but then they deleted my guy, Don. <laughs> <laughs> that was a straw. <laughs> okay. He didn't even get to say one last bird tweet. The birds. The birds. <laughs> you want to see a bird graveyard? <laughs> Go to a windmill. <laughs> Can you talk like that for the rest of the Oh, yeah. I'm going to pull out my trump. That was so good. Yeah. So many dead birds. <laughs> Man. We gonna hear about the birds. <laughs> bird <laughs> From here on down. The injustice <laughs> of the Every birds. Every time I pass by a whiff, I'll be, oh, damn. Look at the birds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they all over the ground, dead. Like you said. The- <laughs> Poor birds. Bird Dude, the birds are dead in California. <laughs> going to hell. Oh, my other favorite one, he said, he said, he said, yo. Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> he can't even say it. No. <laughs> he was, he's like, he's like, y'all been trying to get you guys the money, but Nancy Pelosi's a devil. <laughs> that's uh, that's DT for me. I didn't do it, but I'll tell you who did it. Uh, Nancy Pelosi got reelected again. I, he was like, for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. So um, those are the list of pardons from from uh, Don Trump on his way out, mm. on his way out. So uh, it was like 147 people. So we only named the black ones. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I saw Steve Bannon was on the list. He was on the list. Um, I didn't read the whole list. I, no, think I don't I, think anybody, that, that was yeah. as far as I got to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, you know, uh, the whole story was how he didn't pardon himself. You read about that? Yeah, but how does... 
He has. He's not technically in jail. So how does he pardon him? Oh, okay. So uh, the pardon is you're not in jail. So uh-huh. you're going to be like pardoned for your crime so you don't have to go to jail. Oh. But the commuted means you are in jail and then you could get up. Your, sentence is, your sentence is over. So he didn't pardon himself. No, he did not pardon himself. They said because he has some state, because um, you know the, the, the pardon is a federal thing. Right. Right. But you could still go to state prison. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they said that it would be admitting guilt. And he could still, they could still, that, yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, on the state side. So him, his kids, his buddies, he was like, eh. So good. I'm curious, like, why hasn't anyone gone after him? Yet? Like, or, 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 or has he been gone after? Well, as president, you got immunity. But now, but now he's not. Yeah. It's been nah. a couple days. I yeah, know. it's been a few days. So. Um, I think that he's got like nine lawsuits. Shit. Him right now. Yeah. He's I'm got. Just, and I'm just impatient over here. I want. I want more drama. <laughs> Yo, the, the news is itching for it too. The, the, the headlines be like, "Yo, remember when?" <laughs> I'm just waiting for that headline, like <laughs> him being pulled out and cuffs out of like Trump Tower or something. I don't think he's going to prison per se because his his things are all like his business was a scam or you know it's all like white collar financial crimes. Yeah. I think he could probably pay himself, pay his way out of that. Um, but uh, yeah. He didn't. He didn't pardon himself. That was the big story, hmm. you know, because he didn't. He didn't actually have a lot of pardons in his uh, presidency, you know. Not like yeah. uh, I believe it's if FDR who had over two thousand. Two thousand. Over two thousand, you know, and, and Obama had like two fifty or something like that. So Trump, he he kind of rests his laurels on like one forty five, one forty seven, something like that. So. Ah, you know, he probably thought like, I'll do all my pardons in my second term. <laughs> I won. <laughs> then he was like, oh, I didn't. Uh, I'm sorry. You got to stay in jail, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I keep, I feel bad for, I don't know why I feel bad for Joe. I kind of do a little bit because when I watched Tiger King, first of all, I didn't think it was all that crazy, but. I, I, not I even a up. little. I mean, I never thought. I think the part that I thought was crazy was not Joe, but the other guy, the one that was like holding like um, those girls hostages and working for him and like. Uh, what? Wait, what? That could, remember? I gotta watch Tiger King. Huh? You never watched well, it. Well, he wasn't holding him. I watched it with Brie. hostage, but like it was like a it was like almost a cult thing that he was holding down, like the zoo guy. Remember with all the, the hot chicks, he would only hire those hot chicks. And, then, and they would work like 16 hours a day. Yeah. And they even interviewed one of the girls. She was like, I got out. It's like, I do what remember do you mean this. You got out? But it's so. That was the crazy part to me. It's so vague now because it was like the top of quarantine when like four people well, died. And we were like. Literally hey. four, uh, four years. One year ago. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. It was just. And we all know. binged it in a. What, a day? Yeah. A couple days? Well, I saw it in like three days. Well, it was the start yeah. of the pandemic. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all innocent. So we all just sat at home on Tiger King. Yeah. I missed it. I'm still doing it. Now the I'm thing. the Tiger King. <laughs> it's gross. You ain't even see it. You know. <laughs> um, I, I don't I, I don't know. I Like, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I kind of wish he did come out of prison. Yeah. You know, if that chick... She's out there dancing with the stars and I'm like, let Joe out. That's right, Carol Baskin. She yeah. was dancing with the stars. Yeah, was, she's not I, a star. I, that's crazy. Yeah. You know what? Petition to I can't, arrest get Joe Carol. out. I still think oh, Carol uh, Baskin didn't. Did it. You think so? Yeah. I think, I, it, was, I think it was OJ. I just think it's exciting to think that. You say I think it was OJ? What did you say? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what's the next time? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it probably was OJ. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think so? Uh, no. <laughs> was he involved in this documentary? No, 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 it was probably Carol. It's Carol. She probably called OJ for, you know, advice. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, hey, Orenthal. <laughs> <laughs> Which Yo, gloves I, I, did you I use hate again? my husband. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I got you. They were kinky on that show, too. It was weird. Were they? Yeah. Well, him and his husbands. Him and who? Joe. Oh no! Oh, well, oh that that was, that was kinky. What show are you talking about? Carol Baskin, her and her her husband. It was who, kinky. I just I felt it like the the vibe was kinky. <laughs> 
You know, uh, when no, they no, show I see the, what you, no, the, no, no, I see the wedding what pictures yeah. and like, he was like on a leash and dressed up like a tiger or something. That was, uh, I thought that was perfectly normal. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> that, no, that'll okay. be at your wedding too. No, no, that's fine. No, no, no. I see what you're all about now. Huh? <laughs> is he everybody? Is he? <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Listen, I see on Sam press one button at Sam all. Sam don't know how to press it. Yeah, Sam was just like, yo, where's the trigger? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just because Sam doesn't know which, which sound is what. Uh, okay. I would just be looking at like, oh, the lights. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're so nice. All right, so, well, Trump is out. Joe Biden's in. Let's talk about the, uh, the inauguration. Did you guys watch it? I watched... I watched it in the background because I had to do a, a Zoom uh, training at work. I was, so I just watched yeah, it in the I was in a power outage. So my oh, mom, where do you guys live? Did y'all got? I live in North Hollywood and I got zero power outage. So I don't even pay the bill. Did, did you, was it not windy for everyone else? It, it was, was windy. so windy. It I live in windy, I live yeah. in like deep in somewhere where the mountains are. So the, oh, excuse me. The, okay. Don't get excited here. No, I'm, not. I'm, just, I'm evaluating. <laughs> but it, the wind gets so bad, it knocks our power out for like almost I think a day Sam, and a half. Sam's wow. one. Yeah. And so the, the morning of the inauguration, we still didn't have power. So I woke up to hearing my mom playing it on her phone. Oh, shit. Um, but I thought the inauguration was at nine. So I was planning to watch it at nine. That's what I thought it was too. No, no, I woke up, it was 8.30 and Lady Gaga was already playing. Yeah, play. at nine on the dot, he swore in. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The swearing, I guess, is the, at nine. But the, you know, the whole performance of it <laughs> did not start at nine. The part that you wanted to see? <laughs> exactly. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Lady Gaga came with a golden animal, a golden she pheasant did. on her outfit. I saw, I saw yeah. That. Yeah. Who does the booking for these things? The, I don't know. Because we have, I have an issue with it. Okay, I do. let's talk I do. about it. Lady Gaga, first of all, you need to perform at events like this with your real name. The, That's it. Mrs. Gaga. What's her name? <laughs> Thank you. I forgot what her real name is. You can't was. have State Secretary Judge Mathis saying, and we have <laughs> Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> To sing for the most important man in the world. What's her, what's her real name, though? Stephanie. Stephanie. Stephanie, Stephanie Gaga. <laughs> I don't think it's Gaga, though. All right, check it. I'm not going to. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But, I mean, what would you rather prefer? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Stephanie. Yeah. Stephanie. That and for, for Joseph Robinette? Yeah. But Stephanie Gaga? Yeah. I, for me, I just didn't get it. I, it felt odd, but it did. Did they say J Lo when they, or did they say Jennifer Lopez when? Oh, no, we're gonna get to J Lo. Oh, okay. Yeah, because she got to get canceled for what she just did. I believe so. She has to get canceled. Yes. Yeah. Um. So Lady Gaga came. She had a pheasant on her. I'm surprised she wasn't, you know, built in meat the way that she <laughs> normally is. Uh, since so she stole. Yeah. My favorite part was when the microphone was being handed to her by Mike Pence and she just mad docked him. She did? Yeah, it's a video about it. Um, I saw it yesterday, I think, where she, she, she cut the microphone and she's like, and then, oh. like, it's super funny. Mike's, yo, honestly, Mike Pence seems like a nice guy. I don't know. You don't know. see it? I don't know. Nope. He went to the, <laughs> no, what, because the thing is, like, in the debate, He's a pretty well composed guy. He's very good at speaking. And I feel like the bar was set so low with in terms of composure, though. You have like compared to Trump. No, no, no. <laughs> Him and and Kamala, though. Him versus Kamala. You saw yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I I feel like and for him showing up when Trump did not show up, mm-hmm. first president in like a hundred something years. I think That's it speaks true. a I little did, bit to his character. I did respect that he was there. I honestly didn't know that he was there. Or well, didn't realize I mean, that he, he ain't got a lot to say. That I mean, that's true. <laughs> you know what I'm he but I just thought, like, no, I just here. figured, oh, Trump's not going to be there. No one's going to be there on, on that no, side. No, no, It's a respectful movie. It's classy. Yeah. You know, and that's why I don't, I don't really demonize him all that much. No, no. But, and he gave Gaga a mic. Like, what a good it guy. Was just fu- it's, it was just funny. I like to see the drama in it. You know, yeah, it's, it's yeah. tea. <laughs> well, so did you like a performance? Um. Yeah, from what I heard. I didn't okay. see it. Okay. I, I, my mom was playing in the other room, and I kind of I woke up to Gaga uh, singing. Then 
I said Special it was fine. <laughs> you know, Stephanie did a good job. Stephanie, yes. Yeah. Stephanie. Let's look up her name. What's her name? Madam Gaga. S- Mrs. Ow. <laughs> yeah, as Chris looks that up, we're going to get to it. So, <sighs> they call up J-Lo. Oh, here we go. All right. They don't have the... the <laughs> Stephanie. Stephanie. Stephanie what? Stephanie what? Stephanie Joanne Angelina Germanata. It's definitely germs. <laughs> Stephanie germs. You know, it's Stephanie crazy. Germanata. She looks like a germ. You ever seen a? Uh, you ever seen a uh, movie with Bill and uh, Bill? Uh, what's his name? Curry. And Chris Rock. Bill. Oh. And and they, and Chris Rock is a pill inside of. Oh, Osmosis Jones. Oh, that's my movie <laughs> right I there. Love Osmosis Jones. Osmosis Jones. You know he's Osmosis Jones. Uh, okay, well, me and movies yeah. though, I I'm horrible. I haven't Bill seen. Bill so many movies I haven't seen. I'm kind of the same way. But Osmosis Jones is that Osmosis vibe. Jones. The TV show was really good. But Stephanie Germ, Stephanie Germs, she looked like an Osmosis Jones. You ever think about that? <laughs> I don't think that's right. Uh, Osmosis Jones with a pheasant? Nah. I don't know what you're that. talking about. That's a stretch, so my friend. I can't agree. Or you don't think she looked like a germ? She did not look like a germ. No, okay, no, we're going to move on. She looked, like, <laughs> she looked like straight out of the Hunger Games, but she didn't look like a germ. I mean, was, I think those people look like germs too. <laughs> anyway, so anyways, they didn't have enough respect for J Lo to number one give her a hard song. Number two, she still messed up on an easy song. Uh, who messes up on this land is your land. What did she mess up on? The whole thing from oh, she shit. said this land. <laughs> and number three, they ain't even put the uh, mic on Ashanti in the back. <laughs> Why you ain't do that? Why you ain't put it on Ashanti? Ashanti was there. No, Ashanti used to sing J Lo songs for her. Oh. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Like, what? <laughs> you know that? <laughs> J Lo for booty from the box, but stealing from black women. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Here we go. So she got up on there, she said, uh, this land is your <laughs> land. Make it loud. Don't I mean, about that for me. You know Why and, do we have to bring let's get loud into this? What <laughs> What what did that serve? Uh, nobody got loud. Nancy Pelosi in the back with Bernie. She was like, she oh, sang man. that, and no, you could hear a, probably could hear a pin drop. Well, that's because the, there was no audience there. there was well, a bunch no, of flags. but you could. I feel like if I, even if I was there, it was just it was awkward. It did was she like sing so "Let's Get Loud"? No, she, at she the very end it. of she <laughs> sings the "Let's Land Is Your Land," uh-huh. and then at the very end, she just tags. Uh, let's get loud, uh, like as part of the song. Oh, yeah. And she said, awkward. "This land is your land. Let's get loud." Well, she, and yeah, she, she said, talks in Spanish, and Toro then she's like, la familia. <laughs> you got it. Go ahead, one more time. Yeah, yeah she said, "Toro." Mm-hmm. What's that? You know? Toro. To, no, no todo. she said, "Toro." No, no, not Toro. No, to, uh, do. Todo. Todo. That's what like I said. Yeah, with, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I said that. Okay. Toro, to, uh, do. <laughs> Uh, familia. She threw that up in there. I was like, damn, that's crazy. J Lo brought in an old white guy with some Spanish. He probably was sitting there like, a key, a key. Oh, <laughs> he, had no, he had no clue what she was talking about. <laughs> yeah, we have to cancel J Lo for this one performance. You can't you can't perform anymore. I for a just couple didn't years. like the ending. It was it was weird. When you say ending, you mean like the, the beginning the, too? Let's get loud. Like, why do we have to put that in there? I don't think she knew what she was. I think she still thought that she was competing against Shakira. At the, it sounded like <laughs> she was like. Super Bowl. Well, yeah, exactly. It sounded like a Super Bowl performance. Yes. She had no clue what she. Her, the person who booked her was like, I promise she will not say let's get loud. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she says it at the end. Oh, she had one job. Yeah. Like, she was there's like, one rule to this. You're not going to tell me what to do, buddy. <laughs> I'm Jenny from the block. <laughs> I, I produce shows on ABC Family, buddy. <laughs> tell you that. <laughs> and she snuck that Let's Get Loud in there. And uh, I ain't going to lie, man. I listened to it in the car. I was like, well, I'm going to get loud. Just, <laughs> she, uh, she told me to get loud. <laughs> it didn't belong at a presidential inauguration. Yeah. I think Joe Biden was a little scared. He was like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> was Which like, country am I speaking of? <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> yeah, no clue. You saw, you said, Bernie was probably, that's probably when they took the picture of him. <laughs> <across> <laughs> <his> <laughs> he was just like, <laughs> 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 
That's Bernie. That's why he's crossing his legs and all those. He fingers. said, "I will he's not mad. get loud." <laughs> Bernie probably hates J Lo. Do you know how much J Lo's worth? She's worth like half a billion dollars. He probably was sitting at his at his chair saying, "The millionaires and the billionaires." She's part of the one percent. That's right, buddy. He sat there with his mittens, like, "I will not get loud." I love Bernie. Oh, Dude, man. those memes—they've been that's a bit. They've been getting me through this week. Yeah. yeah. People are good at finding random things to meme. Yeah. This is an old Jewish guy sitting. And they were in like, a yeah, chair, let's meme looking they put them everywhere. so normal, and yet it's <laughs> they, they they have sweatshirts now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but the ways he's doing to make something money. good with them. That's good. Yeah, he's like donating to a charity. So the one. No, we talk about bad things here. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah no, 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 that's no, cool. Right. That's nice. Thanks, Burn. That. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, here's a nice thing. Amanda Gorman, she uh, she's the youngest poet to say their poem at the inauguration. Inauguration of Paris. Yes. Give a, r- a round of applause for Amanda Gorman. Oh. That's enough. No, 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 that's enough. No. There was only one performance. <laughs> Listen. At least she didn't say, let's, let's get loud. Yeah. Um, her, her book is now on the top 10, and she's 22 years old. 22 oh. years old. Uh, doing better than me. Um, yeah, me too. Uh, at everything. Yeah. Um, uh, did you guys. See that you saw her perform her monologue. Her I I could, and I was in the middle of the training. Oh, you're still I've only training. seen I've only seen clips. On Twitter. I watched to read it, but I couldn't hear it. Yeah, oh, okay. still had a power outage, and then oh yeah, mm, power outage right when the black. Girls I mean, I have no excuse. It's streaming everywhere. I should be. I should like I have access to watch it. I just yeah. Watch it. Well, I watched. It. I thought it was cool. You know, the whole time I said, "How old is this girl?" She's so young. She's very young. I she mean, looks twenty-two. She looks sixteen. Yeah. Like she's on her new Georgina. <laughs> <I don't laughs> Proactive. I don't know. Whatever it is, she's using it. She looks young. She's vibrant. She had a nice jacket on. Oh. I'm kind of a jacket guy. You want to talk about the fashion at this inauguration? Tell me, about it. Tell me about it. Well, it was, I mean, okay, Amanda. Mm-hmm. Yellow. But mm-hmm. then she had, I, I want to say she had like a, a, a black ensemble underneath and then that red headband mm-hmm. yeah I, how fat like who who thought Ooh. things to wear that at inauguration stephanie but i stephanie no and i'm saying i'm saying this as a as a good is a good thing because she looks so good yeah she looks good amazing and yeah. then michelle obama with yeah somebody had that the conversation mono, it was a monochromatic fashion you know outfits throughout yeah. the whole thing it was just yeah. great i mean even j-lo i know we Talk about. Yeah, I don't know who that is. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going we're, we're to take a quick break. We'll be right back. What do you mean? Why? Like, what? What? what's makeup to you? Um, A little bit of confidence. Oh, okay. You know, fun. It's honestly fun. It, it relaxes me. It's like Doing art. It. Yeah, it's okay. like, yeah. When I get bored, I'll, I'll, I'll do makeup. Let me put my makeup on right now. <laughs> Where's your pomegranate? You think, you think I don't Where's got makeup bees? on the ground? <laughs> See, now, the chapstick, that's the most important thing to have at all times. Just letting, just letting you know. And it's the best one right here. It is. I love Birch Bees. Bees. Oh, so good. The other one's are trash. This one. Are you talking about this specific flavor? This one. You know, but I like the peppermint one that, like, tingles a little bit. That it I doesn't feel like, look good. That's, okay, that's true. This one looks rosy and beautiful. But I also, have you tried Vaseline Cherry Lips? Mm-mm. Um, Birch bees? Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> he said Birch bees? No, um, Vaseline. Vaseline. I don't even know what that is. Baseline? That's the brand. Baseline? <laughs> no, I know what it is. I don't know what it is. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah. But yeah, Birch bees is good. No, that's crazy. It's the best. Uh, we rolling. Keep it going. Oh, <laughs> Keep it going. Okay, anyways. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the best All right, so um, uh, Amanda Gorman stuns fashion stuns. Uh, 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 my guy um, George Bush the second was all over Michelle again. <laughs> Yo, some guys, some guys are down to risk it all. <laughs> I mean, when you're that old, <laughs> he's not old. You know who's the old person amongst the 
Joe Biden. Joe, <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden was the oldest person in that whole thing. Mm-hmm. How He's old is he again? Like 78. 78. 78. How old uh, is uh, Trump? 74. Okay, so he had still four years over him. That's yeah. Right. yeah. But I know Trump was old too. I just didn't realize how old he was. Yeah, Part, well, I mean, when you spray the orange on you, you know, like yeah. he's like probably took two, two, three years. Yeah, off. just a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, keep the orange on. Seventy-eight. Yeah, he's yeah, older he's than Obama. He's into his eighties when he's when this term ends. He's gonna be in a great one. Shut up! Uh, don't say that. No. <laughs> bring him in a wheelchair. Dog and dog M off is making a conversation. He'll be right fine. Now. He has a Peloton. Oh, please. <laughs> It's a Peloton. Doug Emhoff is on the phone right now, yo. So you about to put the poison in his food? So what? <laughs> Kamala's like, nah, you know what? Nate's is going to do it. <laughs> It'll give me a year. <laughs> yeah. In Biden's speech, he was fumbling all over his own words. He was like, to, but, okay, to be completely fair though, I don't know. I do not know how you're supposed to be composed when you're being sworn in as the president of the United States or the vice president of the United States. Well, you know what? She should. I would have been right? a basket case, huh? She should have went off. Kamala should have went off because Judge Sotomayor said her name wrong. She said Kamala. No, we saw. She said Kamala. How did she say it? She, she said it wrong either way. And then Kamala fixed her when she said it. She was like, "Say this." I, Kamala Harris, and she was like, I, Kamala Harris. Okay. You know? So I think they should have fought right there and there. She, uh, she, she just, <laughs> she just swung on it. Yeah. <laughs> bah. <laughs> no, I'll take it from nice. here. No, we just, yeah, we just take the glove off and just take a car. All right. Anyways, um, so yes, I, Kamala. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I swear it's to like, be the new I, president I memorized this years. morning. I, mean, I can do it. <laughs> oops. I mean, to be the vice president today and then the president in two years. <laughs> 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 no, very just generous. give him a chance. I know you can't. No, I'm gonna give Joe two. He got two in him. He got a Peloton. He'll be fine. You think so? I mean, I hope so. I don't wish. I don't want him to die. I don't want well, anyone. I don't want to wish any death on anyone. I mean, no, we not wish death on him, but death be cruel. Death <laughs> <laughs> just, just do what he do. Death was like, you ain't got a wish for me. I'm gonna be here no matter what. I have a long term invite. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if I was Joe, I'd make sure I step on every step real slow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Make sure that thing ain't That's greased up. That's true. There are a lot of stairs. You saw how he, um, he left the building? No, nah, probably in Holding a wheelchair. people's hands. Oh, hands Lord. Uh, I got it one at a time. <laughs> Scary, man. I'll tell you. I think, <laughs> no, I think I saw Doug Emhoff like, slap Joe Biden's back and dust flew out. <laughs> Oh, like, <laughs> no. oh, he was shot forward. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Biden got four hairs left, <laughs> and they was all <laughs> up here. He looked like Stewie's. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> He's just uh, trying to run the damn country. <laughs> uh, I, I, after the White House luncheon, he was like, "Give me those guys. <laughs> Give me those executives." <laughs> Ben was like, I'm ready for my nap. <laughs> <laughs> he, so, somebody was just there, just signed these. He was like, what, what am I signing? <laughs> Get off my lawn. <laughs> uh, all right. my ice cream? Okay. Yeah, no, he's a good guy, though. Uh, I don't know, personally. Um, I wish Sam was here because this is a Sam topic, all the uh, executive orders. That that got put in place. Uh, you know definitely, about Sam needs to be in yeah, here. Sam I, to you don't know. I'm be really silent here because I, yeah. <laughs> I know a couple. I know a couple. I'll probably yeah. Maybe I'll know a few. I don't. I didn't write them down. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. The the, 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 <laughs> the ones that people told me is uh, there's deportation freeze for like a hundred days. Oh yeah. Okay. I did hear about that yeah. one. You heard that about good. that one, Chris? You good? Oh, my family's here. I'm no, good. No, 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 I was just checking. I don't know what you talking no, about. I was just checking. Congonis. <laughs> Congonis. <laughs> oh, so I got out of that one. Uh, mm, there's deportation freeze. Uh, so, but there's that. Anybody? Oh, huh? huh? well, everyone's good. Okay. Everyone good? Uh, Chris? You guys like that or not? What? The freeze? No, we didn't like the Wait. The freeze on deportation. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're cool with that? Everybody like that? Mm. I think it's fine, I guess, for the mm. moment. I, if it's 
I don't know. I really don't know. How do I feel? I guess it's fine. How do you feel? For the most, it's like a hundred days, you know. Yeah. And then, and then, you know, he's probably. Oh, do you think? Like, are you, are you hesitant because of? I just don't like, know what it means. Right. I don't know what it means. Which is why I can't really speak on it either, because I don't, I don't really know what it means either. I, that's <laughs> with any of these orders, though. Like. I don't want to say I don't know what it means as if, like, I can't read words. <laughs> no, no, no. But <laughs> but you're saying in terms of, like, what else does it affect? Yeah, like, what does it mean for a country? I do know the negatives. I know the positives. I get it. Um, I just mean, like, DACA, for example. You mm-hmm. know, the first letter is deferred. And if anybody here works in entertainment, you know a lot of your pay is deferred. You probably did a job 20 years ago, and you have deferred payment on it, and you never got paid yet. So what does deferred mean? It means eventually that's going to run up. So if this thing is temporary, then what does that mean? What does it look like on the other side of temporary? You know? Yeah. But then he said that they're, they're, he's trying to get like neutralization. Right. For like 11 million people. But also, how do we know if it's 11 million people? Are, are 11 million undocumented people saying, yo, I'm undocumented? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. How do you know? How do you know that that's the right number? I didn't, you know, some people even lied on the census, you know? Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I just don't know. So, at the moment, I will say it appears that it might make some people's job harder. Maybe it might make some people's job easier. But my only real thought about it is any money you are paying to ICE, you should send to me. (laughs) Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. What do you need ICE for? You're putting a deportation freeze. Yeah. Fire them. Yeah. Give the money to the people. And I'm the people. So me too. Put it in the stimmies. <laughs> now, now we're cutting it up all different types of ways. It's I just didn't three. Have you, I don't have you in mind. Put it in the stimmies. Is it just oh, 50% I haven't even gotten my money? stimulus check yet. Yeah, you made too much money. No, I did not. <gasps> Especially now. I don't have a job. They're going to send it to you in a debit card. Watch. <laughs> Is this real? Because I'm hearing that more. Sam got a debit card. Damn, they said we about to monetize. You They're giving us gift cards? Mm-hmm. It's like a Visa swipe. A Visa gift card. Mm-hmm. I told you, they, ain't, they wasn't playing with me. I said I want my money 1201 January 1st. No, I like and when I it's... It. I, I, what? No. Yeah. Mine was direct deposit. But <sighs> you know, I haven't Sam checked got a in a couple of days. But I, yeah, I haven't gotten it. It's crazy. Nah, nah, they said if you make 50, 40, 40K. I, nope. 40k up, man. Must be oh, nice. Oh well, but uh, uh, might be tough for you. You know. I just thought it was because of the TurboTax thing. Like, nah, nah. They said Turbo no for you. They said uh, they Turbo. Oh. Shut up. Nah, that's me. not what it said. <laughs> they said if from 2009 to 2019 you made more than forty thousand dollars, like all together. <laughs> <laughs> Shut in, up. in a pool of your entire life, you made more than this much. Yeah, if you made more than forty grand, it. it's a wrap for you, shorty. You know? <laughs> and I'm looking at your jacket; it's looking like a couple dollars. I don't know. It was pretty pricey. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it on sale though. Nah, they don't. They don't see that. <laughs> <laughs> they don't check the discount price. <laughs> Joe Biden was like, "Money for Izzy." <laughs> She got that jacket. <laughs> <laughs> we can't give it to her. <laughs> <laughs> they was like, is that a yes or no? <laughs> Get her out of here. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn. Uh, so you thought, oh, you got yours. You paid your rent with it. I uh, sure so did. So you haven't gotten it? Mm-mm. Damn, that's crazy. You got the first one? Yeah. Yeah, I got the, the first Direct one. deposit? Yeah. Ah, it's on the way then, maybe. I hope so. I'm hoping. You don't need it. Send it to me. Send it to me when you get it. Uh, you think about it? I just told you I don't You'll have a job. You'll think about it. Shut <laughs> up, <Phil. laughs> No. <laughs> no one's going to give you that. <laughs> no, <Nah>, whatever. <laughs> 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 All right. So, oh, and then the other one was um, uh, uh, um, trans people can play sports on the, uh, in the side that they identify yeah, yeah. as. Oh, good. That was. I didn't know that was an order. Sam mentioned that to me. Somebody else texted me that. I'm not sure. Because I didn't really look it up this time. That's awesome. Typically, I'm Mr. Look Up Things. But I didn't look this one up. Because you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on play sports. 
I me mean, neither. But I still think that's fucking awesome. Like, <laughs> and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let some trans man beat me at sports because I, I can't play. Sam said, <laughs> I can't play at anything. So, Sam said, by so far, Biden liberated seventy thousand people of their evil jobs. Evil. What jobs. Jo- wait, what, what job is this? I, I don't know. And made sure you school your schools let boys compete in girls' sports. Oh, this is only for schools? Nah, that's why I graduated. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's good. I think it's a good thing. Well, what sports is it? Is it wrestling and football? I don't know. I don't know. Because everyone should just be able to do whatever the fuck they want. You want If a girl wants to play football or a, a trans person wants to play football and they identify as a man, that's fine. They should be able to do that. I mean, I guess so. Um... What I would be scared of is like natural size difference and who's going to get hurt. However, when I was in high school, there was a girl on the wrestling team. Well, yeah, that, there was took, one at our high school, her, too. She took it. Naomi did it. Yeah, right. Naomi. Naomi she wrestled with the boys, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like they lifted her up and threw her on the ground. And I said, you're stronger than me. <laughs> and that's not to say. <laughs> Somebody pushed it. me too hard <laughs> once. I was like, nah, nah, nah. I started you, crying. You can play. I it's started cool. crying for her. Yeah. They lifted the chick who was in my high school who was like, yeah, I'm going to join the wrestling team. They legitimately weekly would pick her up, throw her on the ground, and she'd get back up. Oh, another one. And I'd be like, Yo, you're crazy. I'm a guy. They cannot lift me up and, and throw me on the ground. If you even touch me. Yeah. I'm calling my dad. <laughs> He's not a lawyer or anything. But. <laughs> He's my dad. Yeah. He can beat you up. I yeah. <laughs> didn't beat my dad up. <laughs> <Go to sin. laughs> to me, it's not an issue. I don't. I don't it's, see. It I, think it's great. I don't think it should be. I. I think it should not be an issue. You don't I mean, think so? What, I about, really, what about football? That's fine. There's there's padding. Nah, I be seeing some dudes break things in padding. It don't matter. And that, and that comes with the game. It's not like these people are going in like, I'm not going to hurt myself. Like you, you come in knowing. You come in knowing what you're getting into. Okay, well then, in that case, I would be okay with that if they don't cater to anybody. Right. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. If they're not like, if they're not don't playing like, soft against yeah, yeah, anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. put on the kid gloves. We got one. If they're just like, just play the game, then it's fine. But I think that's why this needs to happen. So we move into that direction where we just see it as normal. That way, no one feels inclined to cater to anyone differently. I would like to know how many trans high schoolers are there. Uh, Gotta be at least yeah. five, huh? Uh, a little more, at least. Okay, no, I was just guessing. There are five. I don't, I don't know the statistics. <laughs> <Shelby. Jesus. laughs> I don't know. Well, more than that. Trying to find out, you know, it was, it was his first day that he signed this, so it should be a big deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Mm. I think so. Okay. And then um, what else? What else? What else? I don't know. The other ones. So you said 70,000 people lost their jobs? That was what Sam said. What are these jobs? What's the job? You don't call, call Sam? No, I'm not calling Sam. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He said anything else? No. 70,000 people lost their jobs during the pandemic or just like last oh, week? Oh, is it the oil people? Probably. I don't know. Because uh, he said he wasn't going to stop fracking and then he said uh, I was just I You was stopped just fracking? Yeah, I think he's going to stop fracking. Isn't fracking bad? You know, there's arguments on both sides. I I, I need a definition. What, so fracking, I never really understood what it was. So, you know what? Let's look at it. You break some rocks. Yeah. But the rocks that you what break. What chemicals? Are, what chemicals? What chemicals? Let's type it in. What is fracking? I could explain it to you, but I think Google will do a better job. All right. So, it is... <laughs> I don't want to put in my own words. <laughs> I'd rather do it. I could okay. do it, but I don't want it. You know. All right, so frat king. Uh, it's the process of injecting liquid at high pressure into the subterranean rocks, boreholes, etc., so as to force open existing fixtures and extract oil or gas. So essentially, what it is, you know how you know how you like you have to bang through the. Yeah. Ground to get oil. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If the ground is too hard mm-hmm. and you can't just like put a giant shovel or use those like uh, things, you have to use high pressure liquid slash chemicals to go in deep into it, to break the ground, to extract the oil. That's what fracking is. 
Now, they're saying the argument was five years, five, six, seven years ago when Obama was president, that we started fracking and then we stopped fracking and then we started again because people were saying that it was um, it was polluting their water. Oh, okay. Now, President Trump comes around and he says, yo, we're going to frack. <laughs> 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 That's it. Okay. And now, do you remember when there was this, the whole issue of like who's gonna get Pennsylvania? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, f- Pennsylvania found enormous wealth because of fracking. Okay, they found enormous wealth because of fracking, and under uh, Trump, and uh, tons of people got their jobs. There was this whole report of how this reporter went out to Pennsylvania, where it was just kind of like this barren city. Um, I don't remember the name of the city, but under Obama's term where they were like, no fracking here under Trump. It was like business was booming. And you, you hear when he's talking about like energy uh, independent, you know, we, we did this on our own and all this. Yeah. So it became a big deal and it, and it created a bajillion jobs. So if you remember uh, um, Joe Biden originally said, we got to stop fracking because people said it's corrupting our water. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people now depend on fracking because at one point in time, they were broke, and right. now they they can feed their families. Uh, and then, the, in the second presidential debate, he Joe Biden kind of switched up his words a little bit, and he was like, "Yo, I'm not gonna fra- I'm not gonna stop fracking. I understand that so many people rely on it, and um, and it, and it provides you know oil for the country right. without us having to go destroy other countries." To it. And then all of a sudden, he kind of came in and was just like, "Yo, we gonna we gonna stop this fracking." <laughs> So that was one of the orders he signed, stop fracking? I, I'm not sure if it's one of the 17 on the first day, but I have been reading about his intentions to stop fracking. Um, so then it's not stopped yet. I'm not 100% sure. Mm. Okay, but it's probably on its way to be stopped. Is- yeah, I mean, he's notoriously not a fan of it. Yeah. Because of the environmental Environment. yeah. part of it. You know, he re-entered the Paris Accord. He's like, Mr. We're- America's going to save the planet. <laughs> guy okay so if we do stop fracking i can imagine a lot of people get upset about it. yeah there's gonna be a lot of pissed off people i can imagine that and you're not gonna tell those people why don't you just go be a web developer <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> you know what i'm saying those guys are like you know what i you know what i do with the oil I frack it, yo. The oil. <laughs> i'm a professional fracker <laughs> That's what I do. So you're not going to tell those guys to go do something else. Yeah. So uh, I I think it's kind of a tricky situation. It's tricky. And I don't know exactly how much water has been affected mm-hmm. because under Trump, it was fracking all over the place. Trump was like, yo, frack there, frack, frack there, <laughs> frack there, frack there. Yo, frack over there. Yeah. Frack. <laughs> <laughs> people was like, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, freaking back. <laughs> What's the problem? And every my water's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "In North Hollywood, it's good." Yeah, you get you just get Aquafina. <laughs> you could frack if you want, but my North Hollywood water clean. Yeah, don't just don't just don't frack around me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Just get a Brita, you fine. You see, you see, but you remember when Obama drank that one lick of uh, water from Flint, Michigan? No, you know that? man, y'all so young. Yeah. <laughs> he took it. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was like, let me get a cup of water, and everybody's like, oh snap, he's about to drink the water. <laughs> they put some Aquafina in there for, and he was like, yo, is this Mexican water? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the hell is this? <laughs> and he was like. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, so are you guys one of those people that only drink from like water bottles or, or the? Oh, uh, you drink from the sink. I have to. That's how I grew up, and my parents. Do it. Wait, so you don't have like a? We don't a have a. We don't have a filter thing? or anything like that. They well, just. They you just could think survive it's survive everything. Uh, right. That's what I'm saying. Like I, You're I like think. A roach. I'm probably. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a roach. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what? Like as a kid in New York, we were able to drink from the faucet. But when I came to Los Angeles, they was like, "Don't, don't even touch this." Yeah, which, which I kn- I always knew, but at the same time, we've never not like. I think that's filled with faucet water right there. My, my water bottle. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> she fine. I drink She's a gallon immune. of it every day. I'm I'm great. 
It's either I die tomorrow or I live for 500 years. We'll no, see. No, no, They got stores. <laughs> oh, they got the Fina in there. The Fina. Is that, is that your favorite water? I don't even know. That's the one I know. Nah, nah, nah. I, wa- I want to get us a filter. Why don't you get it? Uh, they just, like, switched up the new sink. And so now I, I can't, there's no filter to screw it Not just say so you got too much money. No, that's, that's why you don't get the stimmy. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she saved money. She drink from the from yeah. The we awesome. drink from yeah, tap. Yeah. We don't. Yeah. Want to know how I keep my seven <laughs> figures? Yeah, I drink pee. <laughs> <laughs> I've been storing my own pee for years. Yeah, my grandma used to goggle pee. What? Yeah, it's like a whole old Haitian thing. Like when she was when she would get sick, she would like pee in a jar and then she'd be like, oh, oh, gargle it. Like nah. straight so it had up. like healing powers. Yeah. Nah. Still warm. Yeah. You never heard that? You don't oh. put it over ice? Nah. I pee over about, ice is wild, I, yo. I, I, wild. I did hear nah, about this crazy. one lady who had cancer in her eye or something. Damn, and not so eye she, cancer. She, she, she would pee in a cup. <laughs> and she would look up and just put the, the jar of pee on her eye, and then she would just open her eye. And she was like, <laughs> nah. Fuck cancer. I got these, pee. <laughs> these people. Nah. I'm not about it. It's home remedies or shit. <laughs> Let me s- cure cancer with some pee. But that's better than gargling it. At least it's not going straight into you. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I, I wish I could tell you it was good for you, but my grandma's dead. So oh, I don't oh. know. Yeah, I, don't nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I really don't know how good it is for you because she still lost the fight. I, mean, <laughs> I don't think that was what it was, though. What you mean? I don't think gargling pee was. No, like, that gargling nah, pee, nah, she nah, would have nah, been fine for non defense. You can, yeah, that's technically you can do it. Yeah, of course. She never swallowed it. She, right. <laughs> that would be weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. I draw the line and swallow the pee. <laughs> it's yeah. not weird. She didn't swallow it. No, she didn't swallow it. She just, you know, <laughs> took a little Obama sip of it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> nah. uh, and then she took some uh, Listerine, got it right on her, came over here, kissed us on the forehead. No, Ooh, no, no, no. Oh, no. You know, well, uh, Grandma, you. we used to love her. Yeah. Sorry, Nana. Okay. Don't. Oh, Grandma. Me. All right, let's go to a, <laughs> let's go to a topic. <laughs> All right, so sure. e- either way, Sam's out here. So you know, um, Joe Biden's executive orders. I don't know. I guess fine. Sam? He's supposed <laughs> to be. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's one about him trying to lift the national minimum wage for about $15. Oh, yeah. I thought that was the plan anyway. That, yeah, I thought know, that I was the plan years ago. I don't know where it I know off. in Cali. In Ca- yeah, see, this is what I was going to say. That that kind of thing has to remain a state thing. Uh, mm-hmm. Imagine okay. living in Kansas yeah. and life is like fine. Right. And you go from making six bucks an hour to 15. Mm-hmm. Do you know how horrible that is for them? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They'll, everybody gets fired. Like, yeah. sorry, you have to go. You have to. I can't afford you. We were just paying you seven fifty. Like, mm, I think you got to stick stick to is what's right for or Everything is marked up for them, too. Hell right. yeah. And and some people like their states the way it is, like cheap, because it's like, yo, look, everybody here kind of lives this 50K a year of life, yeah. fine. We bought a house. We're good. Yeah. But to say the whole country got to have a $15 minimum wage, that's wild. I feel like that's weird math, but <laughs> okay. Yeah. I already live in California, the most expensive state, so it's like it's not going to affect me. But Right. Yeah, know, nothing. <laughs> but I, I, I truly feel bad for the people who live in those states where, like, they were, they were were their pay is getting doubled, mm-hmm. and the companies that are there are just like, Nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's difficult. I don't I I agree. I maybe mean, it should be I think in state. theory it's nice. Yeah. It's like, oh, no, oh, yeah that's definitely. really sweet, you know. But especially in a pandemic year. <laughs> nah. When like when in like a panoramic? Yeah. <laughs> We're still pandemic. on the Pythagorean. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're Mad. a Pythagorean theorem here. <laughs> Man, businesses went out of business and then no. now you're gonna make it harder on them? I was like, what well, I am. I'm, you know what? Look, check this podcast back in a little bit. You know, all kinds of weird sound about. Look, check this podcast back in about a year or so. Other countries are gonna be 
way, way more rich than us soon. Yeah. You know why? Because we have to hire outside of America. Mm -hmm. right? America's too expensive for Americans. Yeah. Even for me. That's so true. All the people that make me money don't live in America. You know why? Because if I wanted to grow my business, I can't afford Americans. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. You know? So if you do go from making six bucks an hour to 15 and you keep a job, good luck. Like, congratulations. However, the people who uh, might lose their job, I feel bad for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You got to start drinking tap water and stuff. Sad. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. We're going to move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, all right. Let's get out of politics. All right, so Danny Lay makes a song. Okay, she's a singer. She, a lot of people don't know this, but like Prince really liked her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, di she directed a video for him uh, before he died, and she's young. She's like, I think she directed it as a teenager. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. Danny Lay, she's dope. She has that song with Chris Brown. Um, you never heard that song? No. Uh, she's she's a dope girl. She's like she's she's light skinned chick. Um, I don't know if she's actually black. But she is, um, who is she dating right now? I think she's dating, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Da Baby? Da Baby? Yeah, I think she's dating Da Baby right now. I um, like Da Baby. She's 26 years old. She's a singer, rapper. Um, and and uh, yeah, she's she's pretty incredible. She, she directed, at 18 years old, she directed um, the video Breakfast Can Wait for Prince. Okay. Okay, so she's... She's good at what she does. Right. That's the point I'm trying to make. She's so, she was so young. She's, she's so probably young. only gotten better. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So she sings this song, and the lyric goes as follows. Yellow bone, that's what he wants. And everyone exploded. Yellow bone, that's what he wants. Now, do you guys, are you guys aware of why that could be a bad thing? Yellow bone. Chris? That's what he wants. So yellow bone. Well, yeah, what is I know red bone. Mm -hmm. Yellow bone is what, lighter? Yeah, even lighter. A lighter skinned black person? Yes. Maybe not only a black person, but yeah, I guess so, yeah. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> typically there's this like scale of blackness. And there's the light skin. Extremely light skin, which I think Michael Jackson was trying to be the lightest on mm -hmm. that one. And uh, <laughs> and then he goes down into the, you know, the very melanated, darker skin. And there's this element of colorism where they where the, the idea was the lighter skin women. Those are the more beautiful ones. OK, that's like the history of colorism. You know, they even the uh, the. House slaves with the lighter skinned slaves. It, it it all kind of stems back from that, mm -hmm. and people thinking that like if you're mixed, if you're, if you have curly hair, if you have blah blah blah, these elements make you more beautiful. Okay, now the lyric, "Yellow bone, that's what he wants," does not say. It's Yellow bone is better than anything else. Mm -hmm. right. However. Does have a feeling to it. Yellow bone, that's what he wants. Who is he? Right. Who is he? But is it also the fact that she's saying yellow bone and she's just feeding into more of this like Well, she's a yellow bone. So she's she's talking about herself. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, still, I think I think because you're saying mm -hmm. that there's this scale of colorism that's like been present. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's you know, it's discriminating against other people that. Okay. Well, what about this argument? Before Pop Smoke dies, very popular song. In the song, he says, um, I, I, he says something along the lines of, I like my dark skinned women. I like the melanin. And then we have other songs like brown skin, brown skin girl, like songs that are more directed towards people who have darker skin mm -hmm. color. Those are celebrated. Yeah. I think she said it herself. She on her comment on her own post mm -hmm. 
why I can't make a song for my light skinned baddies. Like she can't. It it's like everything else. You can't bring someone up because it sounds like to everyone else is gonna take it. You're bringing everyone else down. We say it again. Yeah. So why can't I? What did she say? Why can't I? Yeah, she make a song something. for my light skinned baddies. Uh-huh. Make a song for my light skinned baddies. Why can't she bring someone up? Oh, without because everyone else is gonna take it as she's bringing everyone else down. I actually do see it that way. <laughs> The only reason why I have a little bit of hesitance is when she says that's what he wants. Who Who is he? Yeah. But on the other side of that, rappers usually talk about Chris Brown got a song where he said, I don't like, he said something about I, I like my chicks, light skin, long hair, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And like, I honestly, when I heard that song, I don't remember what song it is, but I was like, oh, they're about to cancel Chris Brown. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then everybody started singing it. Oh, I like my long hair. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, I guess people are just over it now. They're just like, I'm making a song. Imagine if somebody just said, I like my Indian girls. Nice. And then I would have been like, nice. You like your Indian girls. But she's not saying, she's not saying, this is a song for my little light skin bags. Like, you're beautiful. Yeah. You know, she's saying, he, as in all of us, wants you. Right. So well, that's yeah. all of us. What's she talking about her mans? Is she? Well, you said she's dating the baby. I think, I believe so. She's she probably talking she's, about the baby. Yeah, she's she talking be. about he, like her boyfriend, her the baby. <laughs> no, don't laugh at him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if she's just pinpointing one specific guy and just, then at that point, I think, you know. Maybe she's like, she's just stating a fact. It, I, I'm not sure if I have a huge problem with it. I'm not sure if I do. I I, 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 I get it, but I also, I, there's something in there that I, affects I, me. I get it why people would, would cancel, or what is that? Are they canceling her for this? Or? I don't think she's canceled because we talked about it last week. I don't think people are getting canceled anymore, but she's getting flack. Oh, okay. She's getting flack. Yeah, I can it. see why people are giving her flack for it, but. I feel like in order to give her flack for it, you have to really dive deep into like what we're doing now. We're trying to, we're really trying to figure out yes. what the problem is. <laughs> I mean, there could be a problem that exists. I'm trying to find the song. It's horrible. It sounds bad, but yeah, she's like, I skin, that's, what do you like? And something like that it sounds stupid, but I think the idea is like, We've already praised the light skinned girls for so long. Yeah. And, but I'm an equal application guy. Mm-hmm. If Pop Smoke can say, I like my girl's dark skin, I like the melanin, then she should be able to say, He likes them, he likes me light skin. It Te- doesn't sound great. Yeah. It doesn't sound great. Right. But I, I'm an equal application guy. Yeah. But I just don't think everyone else is thinking that way. Are people too sensitive? And how much of this Danny Lay song? She got one hit. Okay. Mm-hmm. How, <laughs> <laughs> how much of this Dan Lee, Danny Lay song? Beautiful girl. Like her a lot. But is yeah. how, like, what is, how much is that going to affect you in your daily life? Right. That's. I think that's what. That's a take home. I'm sure she just wanted a song that was popping. And she just wanted to make throw yeah. in some words in there. Yeah, she saw she Saweetie was like, out there I'm yellow fun. bone. Yeah. That's what my man wants. There it is. So let me make a popping song. And you just said it yourself, everybody else in their songs are talking about light skinned girls. She probably was like, let me follow the hype train. No, well, the light skinned girl thing in rap, I feel like that hit a peak in like 2010, 2008. Oh. It used to be the, like, the thing. And then Kendrick came along and he was like, I think he said something like, I like my girls natural. Or, Stretch marks. Oh, yeah. You know, know, something like that. So I think after Kendrick said that, everybody was just like, man, just like who you like, you know? And, but now it's kind of reintroducing this, this like feeling that he wants me because I'm light skinned. Listen, there's plenty of light skinned girls out there that butt ugly. (laughs) Yo, let me tell you, yo, let me tell you a story. (laughs) And they be having nasty skin. I'll tell you, yeah, I'll tell you a story. No, no, they do. Because they age like the whites. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, they got oh, whites. No. Nah, they do. You know how white people age like some milk? Like, mm-hmm, they, mm-hmm. they hit 32 and they're like. 
<laughs> look like, looking rough. No, I saw this girl on Instagram and she was showing her new boobs. You know how they do that? Like yeah. they buy they buy their new boobs and then mm-hmm. they're like, yo, check it out. <laughs> I got me some new boobs. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna forget how I was gonna connect the story, but <laughs> you probably will. <laughs> you probably will. So anyway, she shows the boobs. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what so else? Anyways, no, nah, she bought she bought some new boobs, and every shot of her story was the new boobs. So she goes on live. I get on her live. I was like, I'm trying to see the new boobs too, <laughs> right? And, <laughs> and, so, yeah. and, and she's on the live. Literally, it's like half her face and just the chest just on the camera. Right, God. and this guy says, "Yo, when you get those," <laughs> and she said, "You men are so disgusting. Why would you talk about my chest? You don't want to talk about how smart I am." <laughs> and I was like, "Ugh." <laughs> 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 but yeah, <laughs> but how was I gonna connect that? Yeah, go ahead. I had so I had a <laughs> way I had a way to connect this, but back. but oh yes, all right. So I kind of feel like she's saying you only like me for this reason, just like the girl is saying you only like me for my boobs. You're not saying I'm smart and I'm in, 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 intelligent and all this stuff. When he was saying when you get those new boobs. And I think that's the point of Danny Lay's thing where she was like, he liked me because I'm light skinned. And it's like, no, he, you probably are cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're just cool. <laughs> yeah. And you're probably pretty. There's plenty of dark skinned pretty girls. So should we all just stop talking about our color? That's, see, that's where I, I, I yes. I, like, I think that. Nah, they're going to kill me. We're going to move on. Okay. <laughs> We yeah, that. <laughs> I know that's what everybody wants. All right, um, um, uh, we'll save that one for the last. All right, Dave Chappelle has COVID. He does. He does. He was hanging out with a uh, um, big podcast guy. What's his name again? Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. Saw Joe Rogan looking like he needed to do a couple push-ups. Uh, uh, he Joe Rogan has it too, or he got it. No, no, no. They oh. was all hanging out at the same time, oh. and then immediately after we found out that DC got the cove. And uh, he was also hanging out with Elon Musk and Grimes in the same picture. Huh. And an Asian lady. You see There's that one? Well, then I don't know. With everyone? Basically. Yeah, they were all there. Elon was there. Grimes was there. Um, 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 Joe Rogan was there. What a weird group of people they to all be hang in the out same together. room. Yeah, they hang out. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, no? No. I know, that, I know each of those people separately. I didn't know that they were. Oh, you do? That's why you didn't get your stimmy. <laughs> um <laughs> know them so, <laughs> no nah, i was just saying uh yeah so dave Chappelle has covid you know it, it's blowing people's minds and <laughs> i don't know how it blows your mind I, yeah i i feel like everyone's getting it we're still in the middle of a pandemic like the funny the thing you is you keep hanging out with people okay and the thing is there's almost nothing you can do mm-hmm. right i know people are saying well, he was following protocol, and he was doing this. And like, look, look, look. You can, you can get it don't matter. from going to the grocery store. Yes, you can. Um, what was the name of the rapper at the very beginning of COVID who was like, I ain't step outside of my house when I caught COVID. Yeah. You can catch COVID. There, the, 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 the procedures that people are taking, I, I would like to say it is to slow down how many people are catching COVID at the same, like at the same time. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you cannot control, you cannot legislate, you cannot demand, you cannot do anything to stop COVID unless you take the shot in your arm, which even then they say is not foolproof that you're not going to get COVID. So I don't understand why people are freaking out about this. Dave Chappelle got it. He's asymptomatic, but the people are saying, well, he followed all the procedures. What procedures? What are procedures? I mean, staying home. Well, well, he didn't do that one. <laughs> no, nah, he got to make money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, man was like, yo, I just bought this Range Rover. And they mm-hmm. said, I got to pay every month. <laughs> <sighs> I got to go to work. <laughs> he, he's still doing shows out there in Ohio, right? Well, he caught it in Texas. 
He caught it in Austin. He was doing a residency in Austin. And um, they test people every day. Mm-hmm. And, and he tested positive one day. Yeah. So he must have got it from one of them. You know what? Contact tracing is impossible. Yeah. Because what if Joe Rogan... Gotta start eating salads. Um, <laughs> uh, Elon Musk, Grime, they could all test negative. They can all still test. Like, the rule is not if I was exposed to somebody with COVID, now I have COVID mm-hmm, automatically. Mm-hmm. That's not the rule. No. Because you've heard plenty of stories of people who had COVID, and they're the only ones in their household who had right. it. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And then nobody else caught it. So, it's impossible to say, well, he must have caught it from Elon. Like, no. Nah. You have no clue where you got it from. But he's at a residency in Texas, so at least that means he doesn't expose his family. I think his family's home I don't in, know if his family's Ohio, with right? I guess so. Maybe. But how, do we know for sure that his family would have gotten it if he went home? No. No, but I think I'm sure he's not staying home. He's not going to take that risk, is what I'm saying. Right. That's true. It's a potent, It's a risk. Mm-hmm. Rich ma- management. So is he locked in a hotel room at some point right now, probably. Mm-hmm. Is that hotel room nicer than my entire apartment? Probably. 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 <laughs> the millionaires and the, <laughs> the, the billionaires. <laughs> ah, the one percent. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm glad he's. Feeling he okay. said, he, "Yeah, he's yeah, he's, he's he's in fact, That's good. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. So I'm gonna do that one later. Okay. Clubhouse. It gets valued at a billion dollars. You guys know what Clubhouse is? No, I see, is it Club Penguin? That's the kids <laughs> where you log in. No, 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 no. What's that? Clubhouse. Dang, Clubhouse is the app where you get on it and it's like a long phone call. You get on it, you listen to other people talk, and you talk. It's not a a video chat thing. It's mm-hmm. like a. It's all audio. You're just on the phone. Yeah, and Redman was trying to make this app years ago, and I said, "Yo, that's a stupid idea." Is it and, the? <laughs> and you know what's funny? This app came out about seven years ago, and now it's hot. Now. And they're saying it's because of black culture. Because black people use Clubhouse day and night. They wake up, they say a prayer, they send their chick home, and they turn Clubhouse on. Like, But what is it? How yeah, do you, I don't understand what the... All right, this what is what it is. You get in a room, a bunch of people are there, okay. and somebody's okay. talking. Okay. And then you listen, and then you could talk. That's it. So you're just you're just joining in on a random conversation with yeah, random Yeah, but it could people. be a different room. Yeah, it's all random, yes. But it, the rooms are not random. You could pick like, oh, I'm gonna be in this I'm gonna be in this entertainment room where we talk about the entertainment industry. And you can get in there and like So the rooms are categorized. Yes. Okay. Yes. The rooms are categorized like I, I don't have an iPhone, so I'm not able to get on Clubhouse. This is probably what you guys don't know about it because you guys don't have iPhones. Do you have an iPhone? iPhone? I, yeah, I do. Just so uh, I at first, you had to be intro- You had to be invited to be in on Clubhouse. Oh damn! You need an invite. Yeah, it's like when <laughs> Gmail started. It's like when you're in a Clubhouse. Uh, there you go. <laughs> What's wow. the password? Never got password. Me, okay. <laughs> so um, Clubhouse is that's the app. It's talking. Nice. Okay. And it gets valued at about a billion dollars. And they're saying it's because black people, because black Twitter jumped on it. And then like rapper 21 Savage is always on Clubhouse. Meek Mill is always on Clubhouse. Like, so you got celebs on there. Now, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. people want to listen to what they have to say. Oh, yeah. They go in there. They beef with each other. They fight. They argue. They yell. Wiz, I was on a Wiz Khalifa thing on somebody's iPad once. And he was just in there laughing. <laughs> right on. He was just like. <laughs> I was like, I don't think this. So guy it's knows not like it's not like valuable is. information being shared. No, 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 like, no, 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 no. You like, definitely have a lot of like quote unquote valuable valuable. Okay. Information. Like some people. Like have there's met, the option to have valuable information. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like some people have met their agents through Clubhouse. They. That's what I was gonna made, ask. Like, is it like for music or? It's oh yeah. Like that. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are people who are like finance gurus who have met partners on Clubhouse. You could just go through the thing and just like, oh, this person said some cool stuff. Let me just add them. And then they message each other, and then it's a great networking. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Just... Okay. Yeah. So, Chris, you're about to get an iPhone, so you might maybe you want. I'm gonna have to get the Clubhouse password. What's the password, please? Listen, I've had multiple people tell me to get on Clubhouse, and that's when I'd be having to hang my head in shame, like. <sighs> it's only for iPhone. 
There is a clubhouse, so they say for Android, but when I went on it, it had like 0.5 stars. <laughs> <laughs> and people were like, yo, you can't even log into this thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, they don't make That's apps how it for is, though. Android phones. Uh, yeah. the great they mean phone. to Android. Yeah, they make like four apps for Android phones. They'd be like, yo, here's Chase, here's Bank of America, here's Instagram, here's mm-hmm. Facebook, and Snapchat. And it's six months late yeah. from the other <laughs> iPhone apps. It, you know what it is? Some of you would be waking up and they'd be like, damn, we forgot to give them the update. <laughs> I knew I forgot. I'll something. do it next week. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right, four yeah, years yeah. later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was yeah, on the list. I, y'all don't have Snapchat? Oh, that's great. Damn. Hey, for real though, I don't have my music sticker on Instagram. I never got a music sticker. Really? Ever. I know you had it, right? I do, do you have mean? it. But I just when you can put like a song on, on a story, on a story. You don't have that? I don't have that. I got my. Oh wait, late. you still have an Android though. I do have an Android. Sorry. No, but yeah. you, no, no, but, no, but don't start with your elitist start <laughs> stuff over here. First of all, I got like seven Instagram pages, and three. I got an Android. I've never owned an iPhone. Three of them had the music thing, and four of them did not. Yeah. And then That's weird. Also, I look like I have my music thing today, but they wasn't letting me find any. Of the songs that I normally would like to use. So I deleted Instagram today. And then I downloaded it back to find out if it was going to work or not. Because mm-hmm. I was typing in all black names. Yeah. And they were like, no, it doesn't exist. And then I type in like, 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 I don't know, whatever white people. T Swift. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and they were like, oh, you want the first album? <laughs> <laughs> we got a doubly master. <laughs> I was like, what well, am I was typing in future. I was like, I'm feeling a little bit in my back today. Typing future doesn't exist. I was like. <laughs> The heck? Typing past doesn't exist. Nah, I've yeah, never nah. known this life. Sorry. Must be nice. <laughs> I ain't been. In, I have to uh, screen record my screen playing music, and then <laughs> add it <laughs> afterwards. I have to ghetto rig my phone. Are to, you serious? Yeah, I play the music <laughs> on my phone. I screen record my phone, and then I do what that I was, means you put the post to, up. You also have to press play at the if you want a yeah, specific exactly. part of the song. You have to press play like the right seconds time. before, so you have. Yes, that's my life, and then I have to post it again. Wait, so <laughs> you baked a picture or video? Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah, exactly. You have to make it a video, yeah. So it plays back the music, wow. and then I put it on the Instagram. That's so much work. Oh my yes, gosh, yes, Chris. it is. Yo, get Good rid of that. You. I, do, I, I'm, I can't wait for my iPhone, dude. Oh, my gosh. I, I need it. I got a Samsung, yeah. That's a flash. It. It's a hard nah, life. It's not a flash. This nah. sounds like a real What you mean? <laughs> It is the Samsung that I got is a flagship. Is a is it's a, the newest one, right? I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Is not the flagship. No, no. But what what I'm saying? You don't is have the 120 it, hertz screen. No, no, no. I don't need a hertz. What I was saying was <laughs> when I got it, it was the, the, it was the top of the line. Yeah, you know, this is only in 20, right, 2019. You, you know. <laughs> Chris out here ghetto hating from outside the club. You got to stream here. record your pictures, nerd. I, I, yeah, I do. <laughs> I got a one plus. <laughs> That's the only way I can do it. so funny. <laughs> I have to scream. I do. That's how it works. Because they be uh, mean to Android. Don't fall me. That's why I said you, forget it. I get iPhone. You don't even got Samsung Pay. Huh? I don't have Samsung Pay. I, yeah. I, I got know. one plus swipe. <laughs> Lost my debit card in th- 2013. Yeah. Yeah, I never got another one. <laughs> yeah. Huh. I like. I know that there's many pros to having an Android. But yeah, yeah. For in terms no, what of you mean, like, but no, no, no. What you mean? Yo, Chris, turn on mic off. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the camera quality is a lot better on Androids. They don't pop up nice on instagram but i know seeing them on the camera roll they look nice like kelby's phone the pictures are nice <laughs> but when you post to instagram they come out one pixel there is a blur it's bad you don't know who's in the picture <laughs> that's not true it's true i have never uh, prove me wrong <laughs> that's right now right I'm now take you, a man. selfie post it on your story and i'm gonna look at it now go look on the black solid page. I posted nah. a picture of you is looking clean. <laughs> Jeez. It's for you. Nah. Oh, let me see. Hold <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, as, who as is she's this? Look, as she's looking for it. All right. So black people are upset that Clubhouse gets a valuation of a billion dollars off of like black culture, right? Okay. Every black person is on Clubhouse. People are getting the app lit after seven years of pure struggle. Mm-hmm. Now. I have a different 
point of view about that. Go ahead. I know the story is. It looked good, huh? Cute. Yeah, it, it looked look good, good, huh? Flagship. That's look really cute. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, Chris, what you got to say from the One Plus? Uh? Hey, ask me on Tuesday. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I took the picture. <laughs> uh, just for you to know. Okay, but majority don't ever look. Now nah, this flagship. <laughs> She's gonna flagship and you'll be fine. Keep going on Clubhouse. Keep talking. <laughs> Uh, Your I'm opinion. Trying, I'm just trying to tell you, Chris. I paid full top dollar for my phone. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. You paid. Well, how much you pay for the one plug? Like five hundred dollars. Yeah, three fifty. Three fifty. Still works. Uh, my phone be working, boy. It don't work it all that cute. great right now. My phone three years it old. It was cute, Still everybody. Working. All right. Trust me. All right. So, um, okay. So they're upset because this app made by the evil whites. The patriarchy. Oh. They, they, <laughs> <laughs> they are demanding that, well, they're saying, why are we making these white guys money when we could have had the app ourselves? Now, the truth is, you ain't make the app. Right. <laughs> should, should just make the app. Now, when Redmond came to me with the idea in 2012, 2013, I was like, that was a dumb idea. <laughs> <laughs> then now, <laughs> now, now I'm short the billion dollars. However, this app been in rotation for seven years, and I'm pretty sure everybody said, that's a dumb idea mm-hmm. years ago. Yeah. Okay. And it's now a year, like six years later, people are like, oh, this is kind of fire. Okay. So, fine. Now, so we ain't make the app, understandable. You can't get upset with revisionist like mm-hmm. views, right? You didn't make that. Now, if you understand how much money is in technology, which now we know, okay, it's valued at a billion. Right. Why don't you just start making demands? Yeah. Yo, we brought a bunch of traffic to your site. We could cut it out too. If I'm 21 Savage, if I'm Meek Mill, if I'm Wiz Khalifa's laugh, I would say, yo, look, I brought mad people to your thing. I could t- also tell them, don't come here anymore. So, out of that Billy, I'm going to need 100 mil. <laughs> mm-hmm. Business. Am I wrong? You could say donate it to, you know, specific small businesses or... Whatever it is. I'm not here to tell people what to do with their money. Is that what people's problem is right now with the, the fact that they're. Yeah, because the whole idea is <clears throat> this white guy comes along. They make these apps. Black people make it popping. They make it popular. I see. And okay. then we don't get anything for it. Got it. Now, I'm not here to tell you what to do with your money. I'm not here to tell you to donate your money because a donation is not an investment. Right. It's just a donation. You, you shouldn't expect anything from a donation. However, Except a tax if you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if you do a partnership with somebody where you say, yo, look, academics was on the app. He brought in 100,000 people. This is an investment. Pay him. Mm-hmm. They're not paying anyone to be. No, they're, like, just they're, like, they're just like, they're just using the app. People are like, oh, this is a cool app. Let me use it. Yeah. What was I about to look up? Oh, I thought you were going to actually use. I thought you were going to go. I don't have oh. an iPhone. Oh, oh that's right. right. <laughs> Can I use I don't it? even like that. This is a dumb mm-hmm. idea. <laughs> <laughs> it still sounds so weird to me. That's what, I think that's why I can't it's remember. Of it, sounds, it sounds like chat roulette. That's, that's what, what I thought it was. But like or not, Omegle or something yeah. like it's that. It's not the randomness of it. It's just a room. You can hop in and out of rooms. Like I went into a Haitian cooking room. What if there's like a million people? Is there a limit? I don't know. I, was on, I only use it once for like 30 minutes. Because I can also see how it could be fun if you want to say something and there's 500 people saying something. Mm-hmm. That's annoying. Man, where, um, what was I about to look up? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yes. Oh. Ah, I you got it. Okay, yes. <laughs> so so, so um, um, one of our favorite pages, Black Monopoly. Um, I love Black Monopoly. This is Black Monopoly posted this video about Clubhouse and, and how apps like Clubhouse get famous, pop and popular. And it's a clip from The Office. Yes. 
You got to get the black people to do it to get the white people to do it. Then you got to get the black people to stop doing it, one step at a time. That's okay. I know how to build a business. You got to get the black people to do it to get the white people to do it. Then you got to get the black people to stop doing it, one step at a time. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah. So <clears throat> people are always talking about how black people build tech, like the culture when we when we get onto apps. The, the cool stuff that we do on there. I don't know the challenges and whatever it, it, that's what draws the audience. And the, the truth is these tech people, they make these things, but they don't even know how to use their own apps. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm not saying in a technical sense clubhouse, I was having trouble becoming an app that people know about for six years because it wasn't cool. So you bring in the cool. So you're just saying they don't know how to use it now with all the fame that it's getting right now. No, no, no. They don't know how to take, they don't know how to build an app and make it cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. you think, you think we're on Instagram because Mark Zuckerberg's there. <laughs> no. They're there. Cause I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, what's Scott be doing there? <laughs> you know what I mean? we we create these apps. Every time we log on to Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, yeah. all these things, we are building their wealth, right? So at the end of the day, the people who are building these apps, you got to pay them. I'm not going to get upset that you built the app. That's your talent. Well, you, I think it's, yeah. That's you like built it. It's, I can't be upset about that. However, it, <laughs> my talent is being cool. So. Yours specifically? <clears throat> no, 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 not me. I'm not cool. But Wiz Khalifa's laugh is cool. And if that's what he does, then pay him. That's I think that's the same premise as, you know, CEOs and their employees. CEOs and business owners, they're literally nothing without the people 100%. that work for them. Mm -hmm. Great you know? leadership is amazing delegation. Yeah. And these tech people, they know how to build. Mm -hmm. Yo, yo, put the dot right there and then put the period right there. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> Ones and zeros, man. Okay, yeah. put, put, put the four right there. That's it. And then the app is built. But then it has to sit there until you find a way to get people interested. Again, I'm not going to be upset that you built the app. That's not my strength. Not to say that that's not black people's strength. There's plenty of web developers that are out there, but they didn't build the app. So if you built it, I think it's only right. It's like when, um, um, what's the name of that game that everybody was playing? Fortnite took that dance from, um, from uh, one dude. Um, from Scrubs. No, not from Scrub. The dude, the the dude who created the shoot dance, shoot, shoot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so you don't even know his name, but they stole that dance. Yep. And he created it, and he never got paid. Now, there was no contract that said you have to pay me, but if there is a way for you to trademark your dance or something. So that when these companies are ready to take it because they know that that's cool and people are attracted to cool, that's going to make them $5 billion. Like, a piece of the pie. Yeah. I think that's the hardest thing about social media. Like for TikTok, you know, dances are created every single day. They are. And it's so hard to give credit where credit's due because it, it, it's instant. Someone sees a dance, they, they make it up. Within five minutes of seeing the video. Yeah, but but TikTok has a creator fund. Right. Right. Where if you're lit, you get paid for it. YouTube, if you're lit, you get paid for it. Facebook, if you're lit, you get paid for it. Clubhouse? Yo, I think, yo, thanks, buddy. <laughs> right. Clubhouse Club ugh, Clubhouse just seems to be very behind like all well, of these new, new i guess right because they didn't i don't think they also seven years i don't think they ever expected this to happen so i don't think so <laughs> now so they got probably this wealth. why this is you know well they don't they're not doing anything because they just didn't expect any of this well evaluation doesn't mean that they have the money oh, oh it's evaluated at yeah, yeah, what, yeah, half yeah. a billion one billion one billion i don't know how much money they, I, mean, I don't know how many assets they currently own so I think 
that should be the demand then. Don't donate, don't do whatever, make a creator fund. Yeah. Because there's probably a million rooms of people who are popping. And they talk about, you know, financials, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And they probably have a lot of people listening to them. Well, shoot. Yeah. If you're good at something, never do it for free. Clubhouse, this was the one piece of advice we're going to give you for free. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you can call me. <laughs> Boom. Maybe I'll start using your app. We'll drop his number below. <laughs> Maybe I'll rent an iPhone. Yeah, like you know, like I don't even need that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. But I agree. I agree with the people. They they should start, you know, doing something to give back to the people who are making them yeah. famous. Yeah. I mean I who are who yeah. are giving them their business. Yeah. I, I just I just see it on that opposite side. Again, Everyone is saying, why are we making all the white men win? No, no, just make the white men pay you. Yeah. <laughs> just like in that conversation where uh, where uh, Sam Cooke had in, in one night in Miami. Miami, where he's explaining how, yo, look, my group made a song. Nobody listened to it. They hit like 100 on the top 100 list. And then the Beatles made the song. They hit one number one. And then everybody's upset about it. But our royalty check is insane. <laughs> <laughs> just pay me just pay me and then and then if i come up with a nap i'll beat you to it <laughs> yeah they i think they just seem to be better business people with this yeah all right so let's do this um all right let's see kanye west yells at chance <laughs> he was at chance Okay, here it is. Kanye West yelling at Chance Rapper in a new leaked documentary. Where are you going to be? You know, my thing was like, just get rid of the people that are triggering them. Get them out of here. And let's just have fun being creative. So, you know, Kanye is finishing his album. He wanted his people around him. Chance, honestly, because of what he was reading, you know, he came through to just check Kanye. You know? And, you know, again, Kanye deals with all his issues at all times. And, uh, you know, they got into it, but they worked it out. At the end of the day, Chance was there just to be a friend. Y'all want to hear a fire joke? Yeah. <laughs> just to be a friend. And- um, what did he say? Well, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he. I couldn't hear what he was yelling at. He said, <laughs> "Right, yeah, that's what I got too." <laughs> right on. So he just yelled at him. We just we don't know what he was saying. Nah, I guess he was in his moods. You yeah. know. Um, Whatever. Which doesn't surprise. The same me. thing. He got mad because Jeffrey called him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> Somebody's spicy <laughs> Come on now We were talking about him last week Excuse me Um, I hope Chance is okay <laughs> He's fine He loves fine. his wife uh, Maybe that's what it was No you need to go to therapy <laughs> Uh, Me? No, no Chance yeah. Oh Chancellor Chance Chancellor Wait is Chance not the one that got um, he got yelled at. He got yelled at. Yeah, yeah, he has to go to therapy. He's traumatized now. I think yeah. Kanye is the one that's. Oh no, no, he good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what we need? What we need to go to therapy? Oh, yeah, crazy. he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. He was just letting his you know, <laughs> emotions take over. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And then they laughed at a joke. But you know, you could tell like deep behind Chance's eyeballs. He was like, "Yo, if I could just kill him." Right <laughs> you could, because I couldn't see it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, it is what it is. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be worse. I thought he was like, I know, I thought he was like gonna throw things at him. Like this, I thought it was gonna be like a fight between these two people. What I like the most is that it's Dame Dash telling the story. And one time I I met Dame Dash. I had a I had a business meeting with him, and he spent about two hours. Um, <laughs> he spent about two hours talking about himself, and he's a very nice guy. He's a very nice guy, but I didn't know 
when we was going to start talking about business. <laughs> 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 so the exact way that he was in this conversation, he put the thing through his mouth. He was smoking. And, and you see Kanye was like, <laughs> and Dame was just like, <sighs> yeah, I'm smoking my weed. <laughs> That's how he is in real life. He's just, he was just smoking his weed, chilling. And I kind of feel like that was around the time when I had that meeting with Dame Dash because, um, because, um, he, he had shown me something that he was working on with Kanye at that time. Oh, okay. That yeah. probably would have been it. Yeah. Yeah. So he was like, yeah, I just finished working with Kanye. And then two hours later, I was like, yo, I'm gonna go home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he was like, oh, yo, tell me about your idea again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you came uh, here for something, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually still have his email address and uh, tried to sell my show. And I actually, I showed him a video of Chris in it. Mm-hmm. And he was like, yo, this is dope. <gasps> yep. It's because I was in it. Chris. That's not really good. <laughs> <laughs> It's because of me. I made it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fair enough, friend. Um, all right. So, yeah, Chance, yo, yo, be well, King. He's fine. <laughs> I just, you know, fine. Uh, I would just pop, pop. Right I'm, not, I'm not worried in the slightest. I would have punched him. <laughs> for chance. <laughs> um, all right. Um, Robert Pattinson said he didn't know what Tenet was about for months at a time while he was filming it. <laughs> Yo, you know, I couldn't hear anything about Tenet. The whole movie sounded like Kanye West's argument with Chance. Right I now. never saw it. Don't. Yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't know about that. I don't know. You I'm saw not, it? I say- no. It's not very good. So I'll just I'll just be like Robert Pattinson and not know anything about the movie. I'll tell you what the, I'll tell you what the movie's about. Denzel's kid, he's alive, right? Mm-hmm. Then he's like he he like he goes into this place, mm-hmm. boom, and he fights a guy. Then and then, and then he 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 goes off the side of a of of a hotel after speaking to a lady. Then, then he meets Robert Pattinson, and then and then he gets into this thing that makes him go into this world where everything's backwards. <laughs> so then he gets in a car, but then time is going backwards. So he's driving backwards to go forward. Are you still with me? Okay, cool. No. So then he gets into this room. <laughs> Where he's looking at things that are going forward, backwards. So he's watching himself go forward while he's going backwards. And then he he gets back into the car, but he's having trouble breathing because he doesn't know how to breathe backwards. Okay. So he's like, am I supposed to... So he's having trouble breathing because he don't know how to do it backwards. The fact that he had no idea what this would be about... Makes a lot more sense. No, 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 as no, much no, as you no, 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 no. I have a question. <laughs> no, 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 wait. I'm How you done. breathe backwards? I it's know. the same <laughs> shit as going forward. No, it's not. You have to go. He was probably out confused the entire time. In. All right. This How you not no gonna sense. catch? And just do the opposite of what you was doing. <sighs> you saw I did it. <laughs> so you <laughs> threw something up. You okay? Clear your throat. How do you do? <laughs> I feel like you just have to not. You can't suck in at all. You. Just, <gasps> I don't suck ever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching the Black Soldier Podcast. And we're done. <laughs> all right, Yo, stay in your place. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, um, um, so then after that, are well, you gonna get a whole three hours? No, 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 that's it. And then so he <laughs> he goes to this place in an airplane. Then in the airplane, he goes into another place where he fights a guy. But then, you spoiler alert, you, then he finds out, yo, I've been in this place before, and I've been in this fight before. He was back where he's been backwards before. Because he was fighting himself. Ah. Uh, I'm with Robert. Me, yeah, me and I'm with Pattinson. Robert. <laughs> <laughs> he was fighting himself. <laughs> then he was like, I got to save the world. So then they get in the plane. Then they go to like Saudi Arabia. And then they get in a war where the blue people are the forwards people. Then the 
red people are the backwards people. So then they fight each other where the missiles is going backwards, but the missiles is going forward. All right, you lost me, bro. We moving on. What's the next yeah. time? <laughs> I understand why he had no idea. What okay, was going on. and then the way it starts is people, people are in a theater, and then there's an explosion. Robert Pattinson, I love you. Um, you're fine. You did not have to know what was going on in this movie. I don't tell him he's fine. He ain't got no lips. <laughs> <laughs> Leave him alone. He don't need no lips. He's Batman. All right. Um. All right. So let's go into this. Your kids are fighting. Tell me about this. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Your kids. They're are not fighting. my kids. I don't even. I had no idea who they were three days ago. <laughs> who are they? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Olivia Rodrigo. All right, she sounds ethnic. Sabrina. Claudio. Maybe. Yeah. Sabrina Claudio. The teenage witch. No. Oh shoot! What I'm a juju. I'm a I can't even. I don't know the. I just know the first names. Okay, Olivia, Sabrina, Joshua. Bassett, I think it's his last name. Damn, not Angela's son. Anyways, oh, Olivia, Sabrina Carpenter. Carpenter, oh, that's I've seen her. Oh, yeah, I've seen her. Yeah, yeah. She's good with wood. <laughs> her dad, you know. No, he's a good guy. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> this is the talk of the town, right. the song of the world. Olivia Rodrigo just came out with the song, Driver's License. No, oh, that's sick. Uh, you heard it. We've yeah, no, heard it's it. a good song. It's, it's a, a good, good song. song. I cried it last song. night. It was yeah. really good. Especially because I failed my driver's license test. Uh, <laughs> Same. <laughs> so she uh, releases a song, and it's about uh, the Joshua, this guy who is her co-star on, I think, he, High School Musical. Okay. Um, and they were dating when they were on, on set, or they were something. And then they broke up. In sloops Sabrina, who takes Joshua from Olivia, and that's why she wrote the song. Who took Who took Joshua from Olivia? Sabrina. Sabrina. Okay, got it. So Olivia, there's she's, only three people. Okay. Olivia, no, I'd be confused Olivia, when it's she's the seventeen. Whites. Sabrina, she's twenty one, and then Josh, I think, is like twenty. He's twenty. All right, so yeah. Josh has this, to go to prison. Uh, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> this is like triangle. Um. I don't. Yeah, maybe they they technically say that they never were officially together. For I'm sure. Yeah, but that's what Tiger said about Kylie Legal when she words. was 11. Oh, just yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I know that doesn't. I hate that. <laughs> that's not right, and it's never been right with me. But anyways, um, so the story is that Sabrina took Josh away from Olivia. She releases a song, "Driver's License." It hits the top charts. It is a number one song in the world in like a week or t- in like two weeks. Right, let's see. Like a week from release. Okay. It's, I think I checked the numbers last night. It's like a hundred and almost 140 million uh, streams on Spotify. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's just within the, the two weeks of it being, being released. Out and about. Yeah. Okay. Like you Let don't see, see. The, you don't see those numbers. Yeah. It's number one, hot 100. Yeah. Olivia and Rodrigo. So then Sabrina license. comes out with a, a song a couple days ago mm-hmm. called Skin. And it's a backlash to Olivia's song. Okay, is it a good song? I don't know. I haven't heard it. I'm on Olivia's side. <laughs> All right. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Something about this. Just because I like fabricated. her song. Probably. It sounds fabricated. You know why? Because beef sells. Exactly, and now I'm so into it. Now we got so the white girls it. making beef tracks. <laughs> yo, this this is how big he does. But yo. they're good songs. Oh well, the Olivia song is. I have no idea about Sabrina's. Well, let's find out. I don't even know who these. I didn't know who these people were. Three days I don't. I support the one I'm that's a full adult. I'm just obsessed with Driver's License. It's such a good song. Nah, 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 nah. At seventeen, no, you can't make that. She's so good. All right, let's listen to. She's Skin so talented. By Sabrina Carpenter. We're going to lose about 30 minutes, 30 seconds. Okay. Damn, that's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could have been friends. All right, I'm done. So, <laughs> Damn, we could have been friends. She said it first line. <laughs> that's all I needed to hear. <laughs> this, the, that we could have been friends line. hits like, like um, F you when the click. She said we could have been chill. 
<laughs> if you would have backed off my mans, not writing songs about her. Stupid 17 year old, <laughs> stupid girl. It's the stupidest drama ever, but I I, I, I ate it up and it's so fun. Yo, who but would win in a fight? Between Sabrina or Olivia? Yeah. I think Olivia. Olivia is a 17 year old? Mm hmm. Uh, Olivia Brown, so probably. Yeah. Uh, I put my money on Sabrina. No, I think it's Olivia. <laughs> Oh no, yo! At twenty one, I feel like I could have taken the world. But if I could tell them both something, it's—I mean, drop, just drop it. Like he's not even that cute. Uh, listen, that boy, Olivia Rodriguez, she makes a song that hits a number one. She makes ten million dollars off of this. You think she's gonna stop? She'll find another boy to beef over. That's true. She's gonna be the next Taylor Swift. It's real. Listen, listen, listen. All right, maybe we could have been friends. Okay. If I met you in another life, maybe then we could pretend there's no gravity in the words we write. Maybe you didn't mean it. Maybe blonde was the only rhyme. Because Olivia, oh, yeah, Olivia was like, song. you and that blonde girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe blonde was the only rhyme. The only rhyme. She wrote it twice, though. <laughs> you know what? They're probably... They sent Drake's writers over there. <laughs> but I love to imagine that they, they know what's going down. And secretly, right now, they're just hanging out like... <laughs> yeah, we're know, making like, money out yeah, of this. Yeah. Like, bitch, I got you. <laughs> we got stupid 30-year-olds fighting over, yeah. over, over us. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to think is happening right now. Oh, man. I'm talking about 17-year-old beef. You know, you know what? I'm here for it, though. Sabrina, I hope you beat her butt. <laughs> <laughs> no, Olivia. You got this. Nah, Sabrina, <laughs> what color hair Sabrina got? Blonde. Damn. That's the That's what she girl. said, blonde. <sighs> Come on, you know how to read. Barely. We're on Olivia's side, if there was one. I'm sure there's All right, you know what? Here. I'm on a guy's side. Yo, get both of them. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Just wait till she's 18, bro. <laughs> and then break her heart. <laughs> I also want to point out the thing that they're from is called High School Musical. The musical, the series. That's hard. <laughs> I just want to. Is it that really? Out. Yeah, like that's this that. exact God. title. I like that. What happened? Why did they? Why did they have to name it that? Remember when it was just high school? Remember it was just no, high it's school you. musical? It's funny. Like you don't get it. High school musical, the musical, the series. <laughs> huh? The sequel. The sequel. The, oh, that's what it is. The no, sequel. That's whack. <laughs> the sequel. <laughs> the prequel. And when you got Disney kids beefing. It goes to show you there's not enough money in the world. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. Because I'll go into the Disney kids. <laughs> or, <laughs> or you're just stuck in a pandemic and your life's been boring for over a year. And this is all you have to live for nowadays. <laughs> Listen, one thing holds us true. Josh is bodying these chicks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Josh's stroke is insane. Damn. Stop. Legally, he can't say that though. Nah, he can't. But I say it for you. <laughs> <No>. Allegedly, <laughs> stop it. Josh is out here, about banging everybody. <laughs> but I got God. Ah, Josh, I see you. You better tell Sabrina to keep on singing about you. I'd be out there right now. Yeah, I got two girls singing about me, making money off of me, <laughs> making money off the python. You know what it is. Fed <laughs> the python. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, how many you got? How many? How many millionaires you make off of your stroke? I made two. Uh huh. They don't even hate me. They hate each other. Mm. I'm talking. I'm on the phone right now with both of them. One on the Android. One on the iPhone. What's up? Mm. I got two phones. He didn't even have to put out a song. Nah. <laughs> I like this guy, Josh. Man, you a good guy, Josh. I like this guy. Was it? Let me see his picture again. Little curly haired Josh. Josh, what's his name? St. Patrick? Josh uh, Bassett. <laughs> <Saint> Patrick. <laughs> Joshua Bassett. <laughs> Joshua Bassett. Oh God, 2.4 milli off the songs. Look at him. Looking regular. Looking like he has some grandparents that own people. Mm-hmm. Oh, he was in the hospital? Damn, man. I feel for you, bro. <laughs> You're oh, really God. scrolling. I really am. No, no, no. He's famous. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah. He set up a little uh, screen in the back in the forest. You see, the funny thing is when they, they, they bring the screen and then they show you the screen. It's like, what was the point of the screen? Yeah, why are you? No. You ruined the illusion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was supposed to believe you were somewhere pink. You know what, Josh Bass? 
Look at that. This girl said, are you serious? Oh, my gosh. It's Josh Bassett. <laughs> That's my guy right there. <laughs> Keep on making that millionaire with the dang <laughs> Yeah. All right. We're going to go on a little break and we're going to uh, play another game of verses. All right. Rolling. All right. <clears throat> Welcome back to the show. So we have a very important actor battle. Last week we had uh, John Travolta versus Nicolas Cage. John Travolta wiped the floor he really did. with Nicolas Cage. When I say the floor, Nicolas Cage was a mop. <laughs> Kirk, my guy Kirk said, John Travolta wins because he could dance. True. Okay. True, true. Okay. So now we got a new one. So we got a new one. <clears throat> this one right here is one for the ages. One for the books. My man, Jim Carrey versus <laughs> Adam Sandler. Mm. Mm. I think this is another case of Travolta and Nick. Because Sandler's got more volume. Uh-huh. But I feel like Jim's got some good quality, quality hitters. Ooh, whoa, 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 wait a second. I feel like. One step back, one step back. Travolta's got volume too. Just things nobody watched. <laughs> well, it's the same thing. Nick had like a bajillion movies come out <clears throat> that he was in, but nobody watched them. So th- those guys were even. Jim Carrey and Adam Sandler. Adam Adam has more movies than Jim. Adam has way more movies than Jim. And I think he probably he produced at the, like at no- the box office has more money than Jim. Yes, but he pro- and he produced well, at least eighty percent of them. All right, let's do it. You pull up. Uh, who do you want? Who do you want? Uh, I got Jim. You got Jim. All right, I'm gonna get Adam Sandler. And Izzy will be our tiebreaker. What you is can happening? See. Yeah, so I'm we're just gonna <laughs> go based off the movies alone that they've been in, and see like who's got better movies, who's the better who. <clears throat> the last one was who was the, the legend. More of a legend, yeah. To me, it's Jim. Okay. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna I go. Think, I already I, know my answer, but okay. okay. I'm gonna pick Sandler. Because, and if we're keeping it on who's a more who's more of a legend, Adam Sandler acts, and he acts pretty well. Mm-hmm. Even though he doesn't always showcase it, he acts pretty well. Mm-hmm. He's got a little bit more range than Jim Carrey, range. because Jim Carrey Jim Carrey always goes to the same thing. He's kind of he's kind of uh, Johnny Deppish. He goes to the same thing, the goofy faces, the ugh thing. He, that's what he goes to. Okay. Adam Sandler has a pen. He writes. Like, he, he, he writes write. and he produces his own movies. His movies are more successful. Even his flops make money. Huh. And what was my last one? I had one. And he, well, I forgot what it actually was, but he'd just be making movies with his friends. Oh, and he's made celebrities. He's made, he's made stars. Adam Sandler created, and let me not say created, but he was an important piece of David Spade. Okay. I didn't know that. He, he was an important piece of David Spade. He took his buddies and he said, yo, if I'm going to win, we're all going to win. I'm learning so how much. Do you know, wait, how do you not know that? I'm learning so much about Adam Sandler. Really? Right now. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Adam Sandler took, he was like, yo, I'm making it. All right, David, you got one. He he um, he didn't put Chris Rock on the map, but he <laughs> added Chris Rock to his movies. Yeah. Kevin James. Like, he just said, yo, if I'm going to win, all my friends are going to win. Mm-hmm. Jim Carrey kind of just said, yo, I win. Because <laughs> I'm Jim Carrey. <laughs> yep. I'm the star. <laughs> I don't write. So, so he doesn't? I don't think so. He's never, he's never came don't... out with anything? I don't know. He's not known for it. No, he's not known for it, definitely. He's not right. But he's not known for <clears> it. So that's why I have a ton of reasons why Adam Sandler wins, as far as legend goes. Fair enough. All right, but 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 give me the list. No, well, give me your reasons first before the list. Why Jim Carrey is a legend. Yeah. <clears throat> um, he started the same as Adam. Comedy... 
into a sketch comedy show. What was Adam Sandler's sketch comedy show? SNL. Oh, okay. And Jim Carrey was in Living Color. Okay, yeah. Um, Another white getting rich off the blacks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he didn't take all his friends, but he didn't. He didn't produce any of his stuff. The stuff that he chose is there's they're pretty heavy hitters. I think just the way he he acts, he has. I like his serious movies. Oh, uh, you like number twenty three. No, that's oh, not okay. a serious movie, no, my like, friend. No. Like Eternal Sunshine of Eternal Sunshine of Spotless Mind is one of my favorite movies of all time. Okay. Um. And he just he he did it. He did it. He wrote him. What was that story? He wrote himself a check for a million dollars or something like that. And he cashed it. I think it was ten million. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Some crazy number. And that's he, he nice and all, but he just <clears throat> he just got to coast off of other people making him a star. <laughs> Adam Sandler. That's every actor ever. Uh, 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 uh. You can't say that about Tyler Perry. You can't say that about my guy, Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler had to sit in the room and write the script. Had to talk about act one, two, or three. He had to cast his friends into the movie. He had to find the locations, find the money. Four billion dollars at the box office. All flops. Points. Huh? All right. Okay. Let's go off the movies now. Get me upset. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, go out the movies. All right, Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore is a good one, but I got the mask. Everybody talks about the mask. Do they? Give me one Happy Gilmore quote. Yo, we playing golf. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Happy Gilmore, Izzy? Okay. See, this is where I don't come in because. Oh, oh that's for that. <laughs> <clears throat> but the mask. Everybody quotes the mask. Wait, no, give me a quote from the mask. Smoking. Right. Somebody shoot me. No, no, no. Okay, I said See? one. See? No, no, I said, no, I said one. Up. No, I said one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, the mask. Slim win over mm. Happy Gilmore. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Go for it. Billy Madison. I love Billy Madison. I do love Billy Madison. I got Ace Ventura though. Ace Ventura. Which one? Number one. Yeah, number one. That's all I've seen. <laughs> you seen you seen Billy Madison? No. Oh. What you got on it? What do you mean? Now, who you got winning that one? I was see Billy Madison has some iconic lines, some iconic scenes, and my guy Chris Farley. Okay. But Ace Ventura has a more kind of character. All right. Everyone moves like Ace Ventura. That's when Dan Marino was in. Huh? Dan Marino was in. All right, now I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. All See? Right, that's See? That's fine. What well, The Water Boy. <clears throat> Can't beat it. Just say something. So you the lose. Water Boy? Yeah, The Water Boy was hard. Don't I do love The Water Boy. It was a hard I movie. movie. <laughs> Good movie. I got Dumb and Dumber, though. No. Dumb and Dumber no. is my favorite movie of all time. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It That's is. A Hands down. You've been saying that for years. I love Dumb and Dumb. Are you kidding me? You know, Chris dresses like Gordo from Lizzie McGuire. I do. <laughs> That's actually he's you my totally fashion icon. Do. He's been my fashion icon since. And Chris been in middle school for fifteen years. I'm telling you. Look, Waterboy versus Dumb, Dumb and Dumber. Dumber. Waterboy wins. Mm. It has better acting and better writing. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, well, okay. I'm gonna agree only because I just like the movie more. <laughs> what Waterboy? Yeah, it, it has more. Uh-huh. It has okay. more, uh, it's more audience it's, appeal. I think it's more nostalgic. It does me. have more audience appeal. It has more audience appeal. <clears throat> okay. All right. Um. Um. Dang, I got. I had one in in mind. Oh, Punch Drunk Love. Just say oh, something. Oh, you're something. not going in order. I was just going by the grid. <laughs> okay, no, 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 all right. No, 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 just go. No. Punch Drunk Love is yeah, a great movie. So it could lose. It's a great movie. Not just lose, but it's a serious movie, right? Yeah. All right. Let me give you Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. It's brilliant. It's a brilliant movie. Yeah, yeah, but Punch Drunk Love is a deep movie. Is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with Chris on this one. No, have you seen it? No. <laughs> That's why. No, uh, 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 nah, don't say that sunshine. no more. <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> the only reason 
why that movie would get a point is because Punch Drunk Love wasn't seen by a lot of people. Mm. That's the only reason. I don't well. It's the only one. No. No, 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 it is. Nah, there's parts about the movie that are better too. Like what? How does the story part of it, how complex it is? Complex doesn't mean anything. We just talked about how tenant sucked. Excellent dialogue <laughs> between him and Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet? Mm-hmm. Kate Winslet? I forgot about her name. Uh, I'll give it to mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not I, it's a tie really. I'll call him fair I'll call it's, him it's fair a tie. It's, a, it's a tie really. Waterboy beat me Um, Big Daddy Big Daddy Liar liar mm. Come on Liar liar is a good movie Come on <laughs> Liar liar is a good movie It's a great movie I love Big Daddy I can quote Big Daddy a bunch But <laughs> All right, so it's big daddy. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> but liar, liar, it. man. That's a fantastic one. Beat himself up in the bathroom. Yes. Uh, <sighs> going to be. Yeah, I'll give it to big daddy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, all right. Fine. Um... Uncut Gems. Mm-hmm. Say something. So I good can't one. say anything for that. Uncut yeah. Gems was fantastic. It was great. Say something. Anyways. I'm going to do a throwaway. I'll do a throwaway. The cable guy. The cable guy. Uh, yeah, that's trash. Nah, nah, nah. Trash. It's, it's Uncut Gems. <laughs> you win that one. Uncut Don't, Gems was fantastic. It was. And wed- Uncut Gems gave me anxiety. That's the point. Yeah. Um, the Wedding Singer. Oh. The Wedding Singer is good. That movie. Mm-hmm. I got one. The next one about to knock you guys out. This first movie I cried in. The only only one too. I'm a thug. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> you said the wedding scene. Yep. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting there. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Get there. <laughs> that could that. beat the wedding singer. Look at that. Look at all the the, the looking. <sighs> I can't find I just can't find anything. Bruce Almighty. No. Compared the wedding singing wing. Oh yeah. No, Bruce no, no. Almighty's fine and all. That's, don't say it's fine. It's no, 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 it's, it's a good movie. No, 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 it's fine and all. But the wedding singer is one of the most iconic movies of all time. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that Bruce Almighty has is teaching me how to spell beautiful. That's true. That's big, fa- big facts. That's true. <laughs> big facts. All right. You, you and that's when we it. find out who Morgan Freeman really is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Morgan Freeman stole the movie from the star. So I mean, mm, fair enough. All right. Go ahead. Click. Let's Click say is a good movie. I really do like that movie. <laughs> incredible. Click is a great movie. Go ahead. <laughs> well, she's going to say something dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. We can't find anything. No, oh, I got it. I'm just trying to. I'm know, trying I'm to like, pick and choose like, here. <laughs> Click. Yes, man. Click. Yeah, click. Click. I should be taking scores right now. I lost count. I think. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> ah, Sandler's currently winning. No, no, no that's wrong. <laughs> <clears throat> um. Let's see. The Longest Yard. I do like The Longest oh. Yard. Good movie. Yeah. Good movie. Is that the one that made you cry? No, Click was, no, click was And it was a single tear. Just one? And I was a teenager. <laughs> Just so you know. This means... Bang! Bang! You don't uh, cry during movies? Now, you know what I do? I get the, like, misty eyes and the hairs on the back, on my back. They start raising. That's it? And, I'm, no. and I go... You should really punk. try, like... <laughs> Full on crying. I get the shaky breath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I just sob uncontrollably. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It's a fun time. But I'm not about to cry at a pre recorded <laughs> visual. <laughs> <laughs> You're so stupid. I'm not about to cry at a pre recorded visual. That would make me bleed my own blood. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing for the longest What'd yard. What did you say? Huh? Longest yard? The longest yard. 
Nah, I don't think I got uh, He shot his load on I Jim Carrey. Carrey about <laughs> got four movies. Nah, keep it going, keep it going. Yeah, I gotta going. grab a IMDb. I actually have one for him though. For Jim? No, nah, yeah, for Jim. For this one. Probably I love you, Phyllis Philip Morris. I do like I love you, Philip Morris. But I think the longest yard probably still beats it. Yeah, I would agree with that. The longest yard is more iconic lines. Mm-hmm. You still, I'm still cast. waiting on you. No, I'm good. You got it. Longest oh. yard one. Okay. Um, well, he has writer's credit. I give you a throwaway, Zohan. No. <laughs> I'll give you. I forgot about that movie. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you that one. Go for it. <clears throat> Fun with Dick and Jane. So. <laughs> Zohan, what are you talking about? So I think James is a fantastic movie. I just thought it was funny. I think Zohan I got that one too. Huh? <laughs> I think it was nah, nah, funny. Nah, nah. I think Zohan I got that one too. That was him kind of doing the Borat thing mm-hmm. on his that, own. See, yeah, and I, for the longest time, I didn't know it was Adam Sandler. I thought it was Borat. Mm-hmm. Like the guy who played Borat. But, I, think, I think Zohan got it. Uh, uh, Be as fun with Dick and Jane. I think it might Are you be kidding funny. me? Fun with Dick and Jane is fantastic. I never said my taste was good. <laughs> Yo, don't don't ever say that again. Uh, Fifty first dates. Fid, all right, you win. Yeah, <laughs> Fifty that first one. dates is the movie. I was actually originally gonna pick Jim Carrey, but then I found out, yo, what? Why would I disrespect the God? <laughs> it's Sandy. Sandy. I mean, uh, man, repent it all by himself. But you ain't got nothing for it. I got another no, one for you. Go ahead, little Nikki. Little Nikki's all right. It's all right. Boy said it's all right. What you got for it? I got... <clears throat> yeah, nothing. <laughs> you carry me, hey. Mr. Papa's Penguins, what you got on that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's the one. Uh, <laughs> kick ass. <laughs> kick ass, too. Uh, what you say, Little Nicky? Yeah. Me, myself, and Irene. I really like that movie. Nah, come on. That's yeah. a great movie. I do like that movie. That's a very good movie. All right. I, yeah, I'll give you that one. Um, um, Mr. Deeds. Mr. Deeds is a great movie. I quote that movie all the time, too. I didn't see that one. When he sings Wait, David Bowie. You see Bowie. that one? Wait, wait um, uh, Steve, what's his name? Had the eyes? <laughs> He's in every one of them. Steve Buscemi? I know. Steve, Steve Buscemi is in all them. He's in a bunch of them. Mm. Uh, Winona Ryder. Uh, I only no, know she was a thief. Um, uh, oh, I can't. I can't be Mr. Deeds. Can't be. <laughs> Come on. Can't be Keep it. it going. Yo, Hotel Transylvania. Nah, get the fuck what? out of here, bro. The Grinch. Uh, Come Grinch. on. Talk about holiday movies, Hotel Transylvania. Okay, no, you get, no. Hotel Ooh, Transylvania the two then. No, the two. No, number two. The Grinch. The, no, number number the, two. The, no, no, the, no, number two now. Grinch. Now we talking about number two now. The Grinch. Grinch. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> um, Spanglish. I love Spanglish. That's, uh, that's a good movie. It's got heavy hitters, man. The Sandman. It's got heavy hitters. Nah, this debate team for Chris, me. I'm a little worried for you. I am very worried for myself. <laughs> Give me an A. That one. <laughs> Sandler got that one. Damn, I thought Jim Carrey was a heavy hitter. Nah. What, what you? Wait, I thought I thought. What you say, Spanglish? The Truman Show. <gasps> Come on, the Truman Show. Uh, what you say? What you say, huh? This is hard because I really like the Truman Show. Truman Show is a great movie. I give it to him. Now. I've been, I'm ahead by a lot. Please, <laughs> no, no, you can by like two. Oh no, you can have it. Um, I really. I like gave the you Truman D's show. and I gave you what was that one? You gave me all of them. Uncut uh, Gems, I'm Bedtime like Stories. The... Bedtime Stories was trash, my friend. Oh yeah, that was not. A what good are you one. talking about? No, I'm giving you. I'm giving you one so you can try and catch up. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Name kick ass dude. No, go ahead. No, not kick ass dude. <laughs> I said Mr. Popper's being with. No, I'm just kidding. Nah, he's 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 running out of movies. Also, I was about to say he no Jim. Oh I, yeah, because I, I got a long list. Jim done. Slim man. Uh, let me see. Let me go back, back, back. You should compare like SNL shorts. Ah, oh, girl. 
Come on now. <laughs> Jimmy so he could do them goofy faces? Yeah. <laughs> you ain't got nothing. Ace Ventura 2. You ain't want to take my Transylvania to. The Grinch. <laughs> Ace Ventura 2 <laughs> is specifically separate. Okay, fine. Ace Ventura 2 versus which one? He already forgot. Bedtime stories. Bedtime stories. All right, I'll give it's it to you. All right, fine. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was, yeah. I like that movie. <laughs> yeah, the Cable Guy. Come on, Matthew Broderick. You both have seen all those movies? Before. Yeah. I'm so behind. No, it's okay. It just means I have no life. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. Funny people. I like funny people. I ain't even like funny people. I know it's gonna win. Go ahead, give me, give give me a um, Jim Carrey as Joe Biden. Go ahead, give it to me. No, 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 no. Let me see. Let me see. I'll tell you, I'm running out of movies. Come on, Chris. <laughs> Damn, she's saying, "Come on, Chris!" Like, please. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. Um, what'd you say? I said, uh, I got a long list, so I even forgot what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one I gave you. Uh, funny people. Funny people. Man on the moon. That's where he plays Andy Kaufman. Uh, you you mean the one nobody watched? All right, so. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I know that mine won. That's wrong. But okay. Funny people. Sure. Okay. Last one. <laughs> Blended. Blended, blended. The one, the second fifty first dates. Yeah. Come on, okay. Or just go with it. One or the other. Just go with Isn't that the same thing? Just about. <laughs> just with Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. <gasps> nah. Is Sonic the Hedgehog? What? That, was, that wasn't his movie. He was in it. All right, no, it's fine. Uh, Murder House. Wait, sorry, okay, wait, wait. I'm gonna switch it. I'm gonna switch it. So that one versus um. Murder mystery. Sonic the Hedgehog versus murder mystery. Murder mystery. Murder mystery. Yeah. I would love that. It was a funny movie. movie. <laughs> Sonic was fine, but murder mystery I like was Sonic. slightly better. I don't think I would have liked it even if I saw it. I'm pretty much out of movies, so I think we got a clear winner. <laughs> we have a winner. It was Jim Carrey. So it, was, it was a good fight, but Jim won. I went. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we're in the Kill same. Me still with fifteen movies. Uh, yeah, I got, I got forty more movies. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good fight, but Jim won. Come on, Jim won. Jim got six movies. He got you heavy hitters. Count? I didn't keep count. He got no, heavy, no, no, but, but I'm saying in general, he got six movies that made him Jim. He had good early movies. But after that, but early on, it that's dwindled. what, yeah. Yeah, Sandler got, he's he's going to get two out of ten. But he makes 30. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's how he gets And it. each one hits. Yeah. Somebody, somebody likes it. I didn't even, I didn't get into my Grown Ups 2 bag. No, no, no. No, you completely changed my mind. I went into this thinking, uh, Jim was going to win. Just say, you know, just debate, debate class, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right the last thing i gotta say is kind of sad um uh we're gonna say rest in peace to hank aaron yeah legendary baseball player 755 home runs crazy wow um what'd you say he defied racism Mm -hmm. he said with baseball man that is phenomenal it just goes to show you that that um um Everything is important, mm-hmm. you know. In the world where we trying to find out what's essential and what's not, the role that people play, just like when we bring it back to Kyrie Irving and and what he does on the court and off the court, what he does on that court is just as important, you know, f- what as what he does off the court, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, you just never know what your legacy is going to be. Yeah, you never know. Um, so rest in peace to uh, our, our good brother Hank. Aaron, and then uh, we have another big loss that kind of makes me feel like I'm getting old. Just recent, um, Larry King. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Larry King, who speaks a little bit like Bernie Sanders, <laughs> kind of a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah kind of looks a little bit uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. You know? mm-hmm. <laughs> we gonna miss the legend, man. That this guy I used to not necessarily like 
run to watch a show, but his show was always somehow on TV. Yeah. You see the, the dots of the, of yeah. the, the country. All those dots. Yeah. <laughs> Legendary. In the backward, backward. Legendary. Like, cra- just crazy, you know? And I saw his, like, last picture on Instagram, and just to see how just tiny and elderly he was, I was like, oh, man. I didn't realize that Larry was down bad like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he was really going through it i don't know i think he died of covid maybe i'm not sure mm, they, not confirmed no they didn't confirm it they just he was in the hospital f- for like he had covid and he was in the hospital for oh, it but geez. i don't think they ever at least from what i read i don't think they ever confirmed if it was directly related to covid well shout out to these two major major culture shifting legends oh yeah, yeah definitely. um you guys have anything else you want to say that's it for me, man. Oh, like this has been fun. My first podcast ever. Yeah. <laughs> so much fun. Lucky you. Lucky you. <laughs> All right. So we end the podcast two ways. We play some songs that's been on our hearts for the week. And then uh, we do a little bit of reminiscing. Okay. Okay. So for now, do you have a song that's been on your heart for the week? Is it driver's license? It is driver's license. You want me to play it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sick. That was a good track. That was a yeah. good one. So, all right. All right. So you guys know how we like to end the show. We like to uh, do a little bit of reminiscing, and uh, I'm going to turn my guy Roy Orbison on, and we'll get to it. Go for it. What is something that you miss, something that affected you as a kid that you're like, dang, if only I had this again? Oh, wow. Yeah, kind of deep, huh? Um. <laughs> What's the first thing that pops into your mind, like something that used to happen to you as a kid? I think like I, the first thing I swapped up was tap playing, water, huh? Tap water. Yeah, tap water. <laughs> 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 I miss playing with like Barbie dolls in my Barbie house. <laughs> okay, that was fun. We'll allow that. Or just playing with toys. Toys in general. Those were, yeah, I always had so much fun just doing nothing mm. and having an imagination. Yeah. Yeah, giving yeah. them characters, lives. Mm-hmm. I'd be stuff. running outside, you know, doing oh, God no. knows what. Not these days. R. Kelly's out A there. blast. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> well, running outside my backyard, <laughs> I wouldn't run out anywhere else. Okay. But. Uh, shout out to backyards, yo. Yeah. I told you you had too much money. <laughs> I had a backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> eventually, no, eventually. <laughs> uh, what about you, Corrales? I miss. I never had a pool growing up. We have sprinklers. Oh, I've been yeah. running them sprinklers. I've been like, yo, let's Those go. Those were the best. The ghetto. Come on. I'm telling you. <laughs> Did you ever make a slip inside with the trash can, trash bags? The bag? trash bags? Yeah, that was fun. Okay, Your yeah, cousin my, my puts some safety go on it. You go. <laughs> yo, you know what's crazy? So I've always been scared of slip and slides. You know why? Because you don't realize how far away the ground is. <laughs> <laughs> you jump in the air and you're like, damn, I got to fall five feet. Yep. <laughs> and on my stomach and pretend to have a. <laughs> I'd be. Yeah, you get bruised all over, but it's so much fun. Because you don't feel uh, yeah. to the You get a rash. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll play in the sprinklers. That's, that's my ghetto nostalgia. Yeah, no, I'm good. Uh, the thing that I, I really miss is my mom buying me clothes. <laughs> right on. Yeah. If first day of school, church clothes, all that kind of stuff. I'd be like, nah, just get it, mom. It's a honey. It's a honey. That's a, you got it. <laughs> you you big them for me. Now that I know the price of underwear, oh my gosh. Underwear is expensive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know about for you ladies, since you guys wear toothpicks and floss, but no, and they're uh, still nobody wear toothpicks, Kelvin, <laughs> in their pants. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't identify as that. They're not but, too uh, That's what I've seen on SavageFunny.com. Dang, Savage Penny. Savage. Yeah, yeah just uh, somebody else taking care of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I miss. Yo, I, I, need, yeah, I need a real docile woman to just come I miss being able to fall asleep in a car and then waking up in my bed. You go. Oh, like, I used to do that for you. Yeah, they, they would, used to pick you up from the car. Yeah, I didn't have to wake up once. 
But you you knew like you was like he he about to come pick people. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm gonna just stay. Oh yeah, no no we're gonna pretend. It's sleep. cool. Yeah, I didn't do that. It was magical though when you when I was actually asleep, I was passed out, and then you wake up and you're in your bed. Your clothes changed like, and everything. Whoa, what happened? Teeth was, brushed. No, we didn't go that far. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, no. In my family, my my mom was like, "Yo, get up." <laughs> <laughs> Go, go, go to bed. Yeah, no, get on up, fatty. I just believe. <laughs> <laughs> you don't carry your ass. Yeah, that's how it went down in my house. <laughs> I miss believing in Santa. Oh, that was yeah. fun. Yeah, that was a good year. <laughs> that was a good Santa year. <laughs> yeah. Just the one. Yeah, Santa hit different, even though he didn't give me nothing. <laughs> I was like, damn, you racist too. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's that. All right. We missed a lot of things this week. Yeah. Yo, thanks for joining on the show. You had fun? Thank, yeah. It was awesome. Thank you. That's for up. Chris, I'm you, did a good, you did a good job on the board. Hey, man. Put me back on the board. I like doing? being on camera. We'll, but... give you, we'll give you a camera. Yeah. Now, I mean, I know. yeah. <laughs> you can always come back. Listen, you can always come back. <gasps> You're welcome. Whenever yeah. you want. Yeah. Whenever you want. Because um, right now we're in a transformative phase where um, everybody's scared of this thing. I don't know what it is. So <laughs> everybody's standing at home. <laughs> But not me. <laughs> We're still in a pastrami. So. That's right. No cease and desist <laughs> and I. Yeah. All right. Yo, thanks for watching the show. We really appreciate it. This week, I am going to upload this episode on YouTube on time. Follow us on Instagram at Black Soldier Podcast. Follow us individually on Instagram, wherever our Instagrams is. is going to be on this thing somewhere. Swipe up wherever, whenever we tell you to swipe up. Subscribe on YouTube whenever I, yo, subscribe right now. And that's that. Catch you guys later.